you need to sell some of them. You're wasting all your time and money on models. Paint what you have. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Model Club TV, episode 106. 106. I still don't know what I like better, O or 100. You're burping already? We're four seconds in. Oh my god. I don't know you're hurting the back. I tried to be quiet. <laughs> oh my god. Hello everyone. How's everybody I'm doing? Coke a belch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're kind of it's kind of a holiday episode, but we're doing our live stream the 30th. So we're gonna do that. What time should we we didn't pick a time yet? What no, do you we think? We didn't pick a time. I don't we're know. I'm gonna tell everybody right now what time is the holiday live stream? What? 2 a.m. We'll see how many people turn in <laughs> on the 31st at 2 a.m. Rather well, than the uh, 30th. My yeah. lovely girlfriend upstairs just tried to rope me into something on the 30th. And I said, no, that's the live stream. So darn it. Got out of it. Um, want to do 6 Central? You want to do 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock? What do you think? 7 and Eastern, 6 Central? Or 8 Eastern, 7 Central? 7 Central. Let's do 7 Central. 7 Central, Monday. December 30th, 7 Central, 8 o'clock Eastern. What's that? 5 o'clock Pacific? Uh, look, I'm not here to be your time zone checker. What's, what's my okay? <laughs> Y'all can't figure out the times, then. All right. All right. We have a very special episode today. And for those of you who have never watched before and you're joining just to see the contest and the entries and the winners and all that, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Like that, you know click that like button you don't have to but even if you dislike it that's fine i don't care we're at that point <laughs> of things but we are here to provide like the, the judging a little bit of our process in judging and we are going to reveal the winners of the fantastic plastic resin and vinyl festive model competition it's a lot of words i want to wow, make you sure said I got that without like going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and for those of you who are new i tend to mumble sometimes so uh, real quick, we are going to be doing a little different format this time. If you sent me an email, a normal email for the show, we are holding it for the live stream. If you sent me something else, like a very, very, there is a very important voicemail. And we're holding it to the holiday stream on the 30th of December. This is one I've been waiting for. I have listened. I have not listened to it. I saw who it's from. But everybody, please stay tuned for that voicemail. I'm sure it's a good one. So we're going to hold those things because this is going to be a long episode. And we want to give everyone their, their fair treatment and some time here. So we are going to just quickly, right off the bat, jump into news and reviews because there was some pretty cool stuff that came out this month. And some people sent some stuff in. So I wanted to make sure we got that. And then we're going to jump into the festive model competition. So, Scott, real quick. <laughs> Do, do, do. You want to do that? You want to do that right away? You just said that. Yeah, but I want to see how you were first. You okay? Things good? Things, things are great. <laughs> What's wrong? Humbug time. I put my bah humbug sign outside. What's up? I'm good. Yeah. That's great. All right. Nobody cares. All right. <laughs> Make the noise. And we'll get started. All right. First up in news and reviews, we have from Chuck Homoka sent in. I love that he always sends me things that I will always forget. Um, let me get my arrow off the screen. Uh, Fine Scale Modeler did their Wonderfest coverage, apparently, in the issue. And he said it was a bit lacking. So what I have, though, is... The two pages, I think, that was there. So if you're interested, check out Fine Scale Modeler this month or this issue. It has some Wonderfest coverage in there. I think they did I more online, they didn't they? covered it already, though. Didn't they cover it already? I think it was an online thing. I think this is the print version. Okay. So I think if you do want to see more of the coverage, I think there was more online. And then this is what we have as far as the magazine. And what do you notice about this coverage, Scott? That I find interesting. That's... The cover of the magazine? No, 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 no. The, the, of the coverage of Wonderfest, of these two pages, what do, you, what do you see lacking there? Well. See if we're uh, on the same page with this. 
I, I think we're lacking. Um, I can't make out the minis. Watch out. Let's just. Let me just tell you what I'm thinking instead of playing. Figure out Jason's brain. What's more prominent in these pictures? Well, hardware. Yeah. You know. It's vehicles, sci fi. It's not very many figures because you got some miniatures. There's no classic monsters. There's nothing that really tells you. Technically, the Dalek is an organic being. True. So. Technically true. Yes. Okay, so yes. It's true. But is it a figure model? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we need comments on this. Oh, what, a, what would a I'll, Dalek... I'll, I'll, I'll destroy this argument right now. Okay. No, I go ahead. Because we don't need comments. Is a Terminator model a figure model? It has arms and legs? It it's depends on the Terminator. Okay, I just mean the Arnold Terminator. Is well, I mean, is it Arnold as Arnold? Half robot, half human? Just to, just to just, see. Okay, just that. So, I would, it's a figure, but it's more of a robot. I, the Dalek crosses, it straddles. It straddles. Okay. How about a model of Vision from the Avengers? Mm, it's still a figure. It's, a, it's, it's a an human, android. It is a human figure. It's an android. It's a figure. Yeah, this is a human figure. Okay. <laughs> but it's not a figure. <laughs> anyway. These are the arguments we'd love to have. I, I just, it does, this does not to me, once again, bode well for it, the Wonderfest figure contest. Just, just me. But it's great well, to see miniatures. It's great to see minis. that being said, there's so much more to see. Right. Exactly. So. It yeah. does not give you the hint at what is actually there in terms of figures. So that's my only complaint there. So up next, though, we have. Something I think that's pretty cool. Scott, I know I don't have the price details in front of me or anything because we're trying to just kind of whiz through some of this stuff, but this is Jaeger Army piece or Jaeger. Nope. Sorry. Do you have the details? Okay. So this is a. Uh... Wait, start over so I don't walk. Let me start. Okay. So we have something pretty cool next. Scott, what is it, sir? So this is the Curse of the Werewolf. Um, from the uh, movie Curse of the Werewolf, 1961. It's a new line uh, that they're going to try. Um, and they're calling this one, What If Aurora Got Hammered? Is the theme <laughs> of this one-eighth scale. So it's an Aurora scale figure. Um, hand sculpted by Jeff Yeager. A uh, few things about the line is there'll be highly detailed representations of the characters with likenesses being paramount, as always. And they'll be very shelf-friendly. So no huge bases, nothing elaborate, just kind of like an Aurora um, kit. And the reason they want to make these uh, price to sell. So this particular one will be 125 plus shipping. Be limited to 100 castings, then retired. Once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, Paul's already started the mold, hopefully to get some out by Christmas. There will be an optional customizing kit that will be sold separately that will include a nameplate, rat, and skull. Uh, Mark Van Tine will be sculpting those, and uh, hopefully to give it even a more Aurora feel. The price for that kit is tentatively $15. Um, you can message Paul for that. Um, he'll post pictures of it once it's ready. The details on the um, Curse of the Werewolf itself. Uh, payment of one twenty five will go to Jeff. Friends and family option only, and that's uh, you can put it on here. D u p a c u c c at aol dot com. And in the PayPal comments, put Little Leon. <laughs> and Jeff will collect the shipping once the kits are boxed and ready to be shipped. They're only taking orders right now for 45 copies. Um, and Paul will post some updates as the molding and casting stuff gets done. He did tell me when he opened the box, he saw the picture. I saw the pictures prior. He did 
share them with me because I'm special. And, but he said, and when he first showed them to me, I just looked at him on the phone, so I didn't really get a good look at him either. But when I did get a chance to look at it big, you know, this is, it's a really nice kit. And uh, Paul said, when he opened it, the sculpt, just looking at it, he was like in awe of the sculpt, you know, so. Um, yeah, I, I really, really, really like this. I like the, the concept. I think the sculpt is amazing. And I think it is a great idea to do something like this. To go with that scale, a simple base. I think it's I think it's. And great. then I guess if they make the numbers they need, there will be a New Year's poll for number two. Cool. Yeah, I got to get in on it before it's too late and, I really uh, like and uh paul i don't writes, own a curse of the werewolf anything paul writes uh it's very important to support traditional art before it goes with the way of the dodo <laughs> <laughs> and i agree but this is this i it's a great kit it is a great kit support this i think this is a great idea and to see more in the line from hammer movies in this scale, Aurora style, simple anything base. in this scale, though. Yes. really. I mean, you know, it, it's yeah. I agree. I'm really, really liking this. I think the one six scale warriors <laughs> will that like I won't buy anything smaller than one sixth. I man, it's stuff like this is pretty cool, and I, I hope people support it. I think it's really good. The likeness is killer, and man, like I said, I've only paint I've painted the the big head once. But that was for a client, and that was I. I don't own any other Curse of the Werewolf stuff, so I, I really, I really want to get on on this. So. I have the Mike Hill bust that was on the cover of the AFM. Yeah, uh, number fifteen. I have that. I did have the the uh, where he's carrying the girl that Troy recently reissued. I yeah. did have that for a time. I did sell it. That was a beautiful kit too. Um, Man, I like. It. And I remember the Curse of the Werewolf was the first Jeff Yeager kit I saw in person. Yeah, and I was blown away by at the time. Now this blows that away. You know that was yeah. an early Jaeger sculpt, and I'm not saying it was bad. It was just it was so heads and tails above what the Aurora stuff was. When I looked at it, I was like, "Holy cow!" This yeah. is you know uh, this is nice. this is really. Cool. And up next, something else pretty cool. Now I, this is where my autism and uh, what do I call it? Autism mixed with dyslexia kicks in. Could you read this to me? <laughs> what is it? How does it go? Is it next classic level? Is it classic next level? Is it Pestilence Labs classic next level? Like, come on, guys. Someone help me you out. No, and I was just on the phone with him like <laughs> five minutes ago. I'm guessing it's classic next level. Yes. Right? Okay. Or next level classic. <laughs> Damn, okay, it's not just me. Them? It's not just them? me, because I want to read from top to bottom <laughs> instead of instead of top to bottom to middle. I'm it's or middle to top to bottom. I, we should get Mark on the phone. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Call him. Yeah, good idea. Let's wait. Let's hear from Mark. Right, wake him up. It's ten o'clock. Oh, that I don't give a shit. Yeah, who cares? He doesn't have a real yeah. job. How you doing? Good. How are you? Oh God, we were hoping for your idiot husband. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so here. so we're recording, and I got the phone right next to the mic or to the um thing. So uh, Jason's having a problem with your logo. He doesn't know how to read it because is I have it, dyslexia and autism. <laughs> is it next level classic or classic next level? Next level classics. See, that's what I said. Okay. That's all I wanted. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you tonight? Um, uh, not well. I'd ask you to talk dirty, but we're 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 filming now, so all right. Okay, J J Jason, I need to talk to you about those drones, man. I think we're being invaded. All right, I'm Let's I'm on. Yeah, right, dude, it's on. crazy. Go. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So re repeat what he said. <laughs> Oh, for shit's sake. Next level classics. All right. Here we go. And the first in this series will be um, kind of loosely based 
on the uh, Aurora box. Okay. And it is John F. Kennedy. Now you'll notice there are some differences here. All right, I want to let's go. Let's what what was the first difference you noticed? Because I was kind of playing like a world's where's Waldo. Um, chair's different, right? Yeah, the hair's different. No, Having, not no, not the hair. The chair. Oh, the chair's different. Yes, the chair is different. Okay, okay. All right, so, good. I'm not crazy. No, and the chair in the drawing or the painting is actually not accurate. Where the chair that's sculpted, I believe, is Good. actually okay. Accurate cool, that's cool to, to know. The JFK chair, no logs um, in the fire, right? No logs in the fire. I noticed that one. His hand is different on the chair. Like his right hand is different. The other thing that immediately jumped out to me about just if I were to buy this and paint it was, how are you going to paint that flag? <laughs> and that see now that jumped out to me too. Okay. Okay. Especially since, and, and I, because really as a painter, the, that's the first thing I, I think I'm like, okay, what's going to be the hardest thing on this kit? And right. I was like, okay, the flag. However, <laughs> do that. I will say this it looks better than the original kit came with, like something like this. Like a, oh, like a, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Only with probably, uh, no, it had 50 stars, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so the original kit came with something like that. I'm surprised now I'm jump Berglund's ass here. Okay. <laughs> okay. That he didn't at least kind of engrave engrave it in there. Like, I don't know how he sculpted this flag, but I'd like to think that he started with the the flat. Yeah. And just kind of folded it. Yeah. So I'm thinking if that's how you do it. Start with a flag and fold it and let it yeah. be. But maybe it's in there. We don't see it. I don't see yeah, it. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? But I know there's no decal in the world going to fit that. But so I also want to talk like the detail just in some of the pieces is really, really cool. Like the, the grate on the fire pit is awesome. Yes. There's some really cool details in there. There's little eagles <laughs> that are on the, on the post. Um, I, what a winner. Like, I think people are going to really, really, really like this. Especially like the history buffs, this is right up those alley. I think. Mm -hmm. So well done, guys! Well, yeah, Great and, and this is and again, it's it, it it's not a total you know box representation. It, I mean, it's kind of based on the box, but yeah. it's you know so. Um, yeah, no, great, great idea. I'm I'm glad they're doing. I, it. I like the little out. half circle base too, and. You'll notice it's kind of like an oval rug. Yeah. Oh, for the oval wow. office. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's hope this, you know, this doesn't go the way of the war of the gargantuans. <laughs> and that people support this. <laughs> and I think they will. I think this is a good, it's a test piece. I want to, I, it's cool. So I hope people that are into this sort of thing jump on it. I really do. Right. Because there's some cool stuff. So, Information a little free customizing mess with it. Okay. And remember, we showed this. He's also got this bust available. Right. So I'm. Yeah, I got that coming up next. So, um, but that's do you have what a price. Do you have a price? I don't. I don't. No. All right. So everybody, head on over to Pestilence Labs for pricing info and and getting on the list and all that stuff. If there is a list, we'll put the links down below. Uh, what came from this kit is also something pretty cool, which is this. <laughs> they decided yeah. to do a uh... <laughs> just a goofy thing. Um, that's all it is. It's a goof. That's all it is. And I, I like it because he sent me now the new the there's this like an alternate head that goes with this. If you want to do this and the mm -hmm. sign, this will come with every kit. I suppose is right. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, they it's live. not meant to be disrespectful. No, anything like that. It's just. No, I think it's great. I think it's tongue in cheek. Great. So stemming from that came a new kit, which is a straight up regular just obey. Uh, why am I not remember? Hold on. 
And from that came a new They Live kit based on this John F. Kennedy as one of the aliens. And I, I'm going to get to the full figure, the face and the hand here in a second, but I want you to pay special attention to the words on the base. The buy, marry, and reproduce build model kits put in there I think is awesome. And I'm glad they stuck that in there as a little joke. That is very cool. Scott hasn't seen the movie, so he has no idea why it says all that stuff. Well, yeah, see, I I didn't know what any of that meant, what was going on there. So just a quick explanation. When you put on these special glasses, all the advertising that you see on the street turn into these subliminal messages. So things just say like, obey, buy, stay asleep, no independent thought, and to have build model kits (laughs) as one of the subliminal, subliminal messages I think is pretty cool. So here's the rest of it. Watch TV, submit. Do not question authority, all that put into the base. And the base comes as one solid piece. And Mark even said it came out perfect out of the mold. So, and there's the head with the hand that kind of go with it. Great little, like just three, three pieces, paint it, be happy. I was even thinking doing this in black and white, like you were looking through the glasses would look pretty cool. So that's awesome. All right. Up next from Tony Lamb, I got some stuff to read here and he sent this in this past week and I'm glad he did. Hi, Jason. Sorry I took so long getting this out to you guys. I had it at Wonderfest and was meaning to get it to you after that. The full body buildup got damaged in shipping on the way out and the way back, so I'm thinking there's a curse on me. Anyway, here she is. The last kit I sent to you guys was that hunk of resin, as you put it, the Medusa. Yeah, okay, it was big. He said that was a big kit. That is a hunk of resin. There are two versions, a bust and a full body. Both are one six scale. The bust is about six inches tall and on the base and is resin cast with the wings 3D printed, which is, I think, to its benefit. Uh, The body, the full body is about 19 inches tall on the base and is resin cast with the wings 3D printed as well. The bust sells for 110 plus shipping. The full body is 210 plus shipping. They will they will be a limited run depending on interest and the files to print will be available. For 55 and 100 respectively. That's pretty cool. So he's offering it as a kit and as files that you could download on your own. Okay. Wow. He's taking a chance there. Tony. All right, hold on. We're going to get back to that in a second. The 3D work was done by Volatile Vertex. He has made most of the 3D kits I run and is a great artist with 3D. The eyes on the 3D renders are not hollowed out on the kits. Those were early work renders. But the buildups were built and painted by me and images thrown together in Photoshop. I hope you like them. Any interest in the kit, I can be contacted at Tony Z-Y-E, so T-O-N-Z-Y-E, at Hotmail.com. Thanks again. Great show. Watch it every time it's on. Tony Lamb, Hunk of Junk Productions. So look at this. This is pretty cool. I did not see That's another big hunk of resin. Yeah. And 3D resin. (laughs) Yes, for sure. That is really cool. That is very cool. And I, Tony, you got to tell us how this works out for you. Offering the files. Those are, I think, higher price than what normally most files are, which might help you to keep away from people sharing them out. So I... The bad thing is one person buys them. Yeah, I just hope, I hope some very nice people buy your files. Um, Don't share them. Yeah, don't share them. Please, please, people, don't share files. Uh, This is great. So Tony Lamb, again, I'll put the, all the links will be down below. Thanks for sending in, Tony. This is really, I love the way the wings are on that base, like in front of her. Because most people would want them like this or something that would just eat up shelf space. And I really like that they're just kind of wrapped around her like that. So really, really cool. All right, next we have from, we talked about this last time, but I got some more info. All right, Tremors, Rock, Paper, Scissors is the name of the kit. Uh, Hello, MCTV. I hope the kit arrived okay. It did. I have one to give away, which I am going to do a what's in the box on. I just haven't had time with the contest stuff going on and everything else. So look for that sometime next week. Just Paint It's latest kit release, Rock, Paper, Scissors from the movie Tremors. A cult classic and popcorn and great popcorn flick. Yes, I know Scott has not seen it. The kit consists of two full figures, Val and Earl, and, and an old man Fred head. 
The scene depicts the two main characters playing rock, paper, scissors as they do throughout the movie when they try to get away from doing something they don't want to do or vice versa. The kit was amazingly sculpted by Varden Gupta and engineered by Mike at NY3D Creation. The, kiss can, the kit consists of 14 pieces. Uh, and available only at one six scale for 150 plus shipping. Please note that the base is a little different from the original render. This was changed with the help from Mike from NY3D, among other changes to help keep the cost down and reduce printing time. Uh, a full painting tutorial will be up on my channel soon. To purchase, please contact me on Facebook at Just Paint It or by email at Just Paint It at myyahoo.com. Once again, thank you for your time. Here are some renders and pics of the printed kit. So very cool. Here we got the renders first up. We got renders and the actual printed kit here. So, so two one six scale figures for 150 bucks is a deal. I, I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah. And a cool and a cool subject matter. Like like I said last time, someone that people have not done this to death at all. Mm -hmm. Tremors originally, like, there was tons of the Graboids everywhere, but no one ever really did the characters from the movie. The you, you notice the one guy's got the same haircut as Kennedy? He does a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Hope he fares a little better. Just saying. Yeah. All right. Then we have a sneak peek. We have a sneak peek. We ready? Hold on. Let me make sneak sure. Peek. Sneak peek. <laughs> uh, hello again. Hello again. Here, I will share with you and your viewers a little sneak peek for the next Warriors, the Warriors figure release. Warriors. If you did not know, you say some Warriors. <laughs> if you did not know, just recently, the actor David Harris, who played Kuchis in the movie, was the movie sadly passed away this year. Arthur, the sculptor, and I decided to push his character forward from the queue as a tribute. He has not been easy. This cat had a ton of gear, so sculpting is taking a bit. But that's okay. I know Arthur is working hard to get it right. Once the figure is complete and test printed, I will pass on all the info and maybe another kit for a giveaway. Thanks again, Jerry Frayed. So this is looking awesome. Yeah, he's right. There is a ton of stuff on yeah, this and, dude. And I was just going to say, this is something that you know, again, we, we, it's not that it's an argument, but traditionally cast, good luck. Yeah. How are you going to do all those beads and earrings? And all, like, it would be impossible. So, you know, but again, beautiful, beautiful piece. Okay. So let's uh, see how that goes. And then, Scott, you put this in. I just put this in. I saw this build up. This is a build up of the uh, hunchback that we talked about that's available through Pestone's Labs. It's kind of a uh, quarter scale bust continuation of that line but we didn't have any paint up photos last time so Saul had painted this one up and I I think he said he painted it up in a day like it was and very little cleanup like there was no cleanup he said in this little post that it was like it's just you know take it out of the box prime it and paint kind of thing and I saw did you see him post it the the casting next to the other bus no I didn't and how much bigger it actually kind of is than some no, of the, I didn't. like man it, i'm on the list i'm on the list so I, i'm excited for this piece well done Saul. well done okay speaking of well speaking of well well winner this is a, a patreon piece if you're on his patreon this is the second of the archies band betty cooper and um She's available. She was part of the Patreon. I'm sure he's going to make these available at some point to yeah, Bob. Yeah. But um, so he's he's slowly doing the whole Archie's band, which is fun for me. Um, <laughs> I watch the Archie's, so it's fun. It's fun. Oh. Uh, Archie's, he, do you need to do it? Yeah. Well, I wonder if he's doing it in the order of the song. So in the song, it was Archie's here, Betty's here, Veronica too. So will Veronica be next? Reggie's here. <laughs> and then here comes Jughead and Hot Dog too. Now he's already done Hot Dog as a bonus, so we'll see. We'll see if he does them in order. All right. Jughead ought to be fun, though. Yeah, uh, Jughead ought to be fun. So. All right, the Red Max Crimson. So hand these hand. are the two. Well, took a poll, and these are the two that won out um, on his poll for this month's Patreon. 
And it's the last two, the Crimson Hay Baler and the Compact Pussycat. And you notice how that just rolled off my tongue. <laughs> and uh, these are the last two in his Wacky Racers line, which have been beautiful. Okay. So those are coming. One of them's coming. So those are coming. I've seen the render on the Compact Pussycat already. And it looks really good. And I'm sure then he'll do the um, figures as well to uh, the Red Max and uh, Penelope Pit Stop. I'm sure he'll do uh, cool. renders. But, uh, and then Pluto. And then Pluto. This was, we showed Natty Ramos. Um, we showed her two Christmas pieces. Yeah. Her Patreon last episode. This was a freebie she threw in to the Patreon people. Oh, nice. And it's Pluto, and I appreciate the history of the Disney characters, but, you know, the Hanna-Barbera and the Warner Brothers were always more for me. Yeah. But Pluto was always one of the cooler-looking, Pluto and Goofy, and um, probably Donald Duck, the three that really, you know, always grabbed me. I like the classic Mickey Mouse. I don't like the Mickey Mouse with pupils. I like the blacked out eyes, classic Mickey Mouse. So um, I thought this was kind of cool. Oh. But yeah, head on over to Natty Remo. So everything you've seen, everybody, links will be down below. We'll get that stuff out and check in. All right. That's news and reviews, Scott. So we're going to head on over to the fantastic plastic resin and vinyl festive model competition. All right. We got some stuff to go through. It's going to take a little bit to kind of go through each one. Uh, we thought it would be best to kind of just go through everybody's entry, do some initial, just an initial pass through. I only, we don't know all of the names. Scott does not know any of the names on any of the entries. I only know some because I did go to look for some pictures. We will be adding the winners. We'll get the names put in there, but we kind of wanted to not look at names when we are looking at the entries so that made a little bit like that bias wasn't there or anything, or we couldn't be accused of bias. Did anyone send you money? Like you asked, did you, did not one freaking die. <laughs> okay. So this will be on the up and up as far as everyone knows. Well, and when we say in the up and up, understand. Okay. And, and I, I'm going to say this up front and, and I haven't looked at the picture, so I don't know. But I'm sure you're going to have different levels of painters painting in this. Yes. Okay. And <clears throat> I get that. Congratulations to everyone that had the balls to put their stuff out there for public viewing and scrutiny, basically. Okay. Because fantastic. We are by no means, this is more of an opinion. I guess contest than it is an actual God, are we going to sit there and get technical? First of all, the kits aren't in front of us, so we can't look at seams and we can't, right. you know, we, we can't scrutinize these things the way they sometimes are in contests. Okay. So we're taking stuff at face value and kind of like, you know, okay, what's giving us a wow? I yes. think. And, and that's it. It's not meant as a, I, you know, we've talked, this is a no win situation for us because we don't want anyone to be <laughs> someone's mad. Someone's going to hate us by the end of this. <laughs> someone's going to get, someone's going to get mad and say, my paint job was way better than that paint yeah. job. And maybe that's the case, but their, their presentation was a wow. Okay. Yeah. You know, so it's, um, and I want to echo what you said. It, it takes some balls to put your stuff in a contest and have somebody look at it. So. I to sound like a stupid kindergarten teacher that I've done for so many years. Everybody's a winner here. In my opinion, like if you entered this good on you for taking the time, taking the energy, throwing yourself out there, it's hard to put your work out there and have people look at it as a contest. So like you said, I kudos to everyone who entered and I want to thank, um, fantastic plastic resin and vinyl for even thinking of us to be judges. You know, I, I think it's pretty cool that we got in there uh, for that. Now, in my brain, I'm already practicing saying his name because I say it wrong apparently every time. Uh, I normally say Avram, 
which I guess his family gets a kick out of because it's my Chicago accent versus the English accent that's going on over there. So I'm going to try and say it right the first time. Here we go. You ready? Avram. All right. I hope so. You'll find out in a second because we have a special message from Avram. Hi, Jason and Scott. Avram Buchanan here with a quick message. I just wanted to pass on a personal and heartfelt thanks to you guys for your continued support of FPRMV and for agreeing to be our celebrity judges for this year's festive competition and for producing this very special edition of Model Club TV. This is our third year of running this competition and each year we see it getting bigger and better as each year the standard of models gets higher and the number of sponsors getting involved has also increased along with the value and quality of the prizes they are offering to our winners. The reason I set up this competition in the first place was I recognised that not everyone has the opportunity of visiting a Wonderfest or equivalent sized model show to be able to enter their builds into a model competition. So my aim was to create something that would give everyone in the group the easiest and simplest way for them to have an opportunity to enter an international model competition, one that would be within easy reach, simple to enter, and without the problems of having to physically transport themselves and their delicate models to the show, and most importantly, for it to be totally free to enter. And so I came up with the FPRMV Festive Model Competition, and so here we are in our third successful year of running. In fact, you guys were also involved in our summer contest, another free fun competition we run in the summer. So you two must be real gluttons for punishment knowing what's involved in these competitions. But thanks once again, anyway, for being our celebrity judges this year. I know you're going to have a tough job on your hands with the quality of entries being so high. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the results unfold here on your show and seeing who you both choose as winners. That's if you can both agree on a winner. And finally, I'd just like to give our sincere FPR and V thanks to everyone who's entered the competition and a massive thanks to all our wonderful sponsors who not only continually support the FPR and V group, but also provide a selection of absolutely fantastic prizes for our winners. So thanks go to David Horvath at Nostalgic Resin Productions, Russell Roby at Banshee Studios, George Stevenson at Black Heart Productions, Todd Powell of Michael Berglund at Escape Hatch Hobbies, and Dan J. Garden at Sci-Fi Models and Stuff. I'm sure you guys will be showing the prizes they've donated within this show, so don't let me hold up the proceedings any longer. I'm painfully aware everyone is eagerly awaiting to see the show, and most importantly, to get to the results. So enjoy yourselves, and thanks again to everyone who has made this fantastic event possible. And best of luck to everyone who has entered. Bye. Okay. I just want him to read me books at night. <laughs> like, I just want him to sit there and read me books. So, Dude. All I'm going to tell you is this. Okay. <laughs> There's a long message that you could listen to, not like Dude. that idiot that used to blather <laughs> on in our message. It was so soothing. His voice is amazing. <laughs> So. And we sound like clowns from Chicago over here, and he's got that voice going on. This is why they call it the English language, probably, <laughs> because they actually speak it. Okay. Oh, my God. You know, Dude. they don't do the dis, dat, does, oh, and the yeah. other things and all that. I, I mean, just want to hand him a copy of Fellowship of the Ring, and I'm just going to sit oh, back on the floor. No, that would still put me to sleep to He's going to have I a don't pipe. care if John Wayne was reading it. <laughs> Can you imagine John Wayne reading the Fellowship of the Ring? Oh, my God. All right, so... Avram, I'm still. I can't do it. Avram, <laughs> Avram, uh, Avram. No, it's it's Avram. You can't okay. help yourself. Please. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. And Russell Roby, both of you guys, thank you. So he talked about the. I want to show what we're giving away here for a second. So first up, we have uh, the winners. What the winners prizes that are the sponsors have given. So we have first up from Michael Berglund and Todd Powell at Escape Hatch Hobbies. I've kindly offered their brand new kit, the Mummy's Shroud, sculpted by Michael as their sponsorship prize. Um, there's a very cool story behind this one, uh, and I, I highly suggest heading on over, follow the link below to uh, FPRNV about why they chose this to sculpt this and Michael Berglund's story. 
uh, it's a great big long story. I just for what we got going on, I can't get into it right now. So it's a cool story. So up next, then we have, I think, an awesome prize here. Well, everything's an awesome prize. Uh, from George Stevenson at Blackheart Models is kindly offering a one hundred and fifty dollar gift certificate to use on any of his amazing kits. So we have that being get offered. Then we have. Oh, I'm on a roll here, dude. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, we have from Nostalgic Resin Productions. David Horvath is kindly offering his new Lost Love kit at one six scale and stands at one hundred centimeters tall and is based on a movie about a guy wrapped in stuff and features Zeta Johan as Helen Gross Grossvener Grossvener. Am I saying that right? As a young Egyptian American woman preyed on by Imhotep. Uh, I don't want to get David, man. I don't want to read a lot of that online. So that this is what you get. You can get this kit as a prize. So we have that. Then we have. Dun, dun, dun. We have from Dan J. Garden of sci-fi models and stuff is kindly offering his brand new Vincent Price as Frederick Lauren in the 1959 film House on Haunted Hill, superbly sculpted by Jeff Yeager. This kit stands is this kit is quarter scale with a 3D printed lamp designed to be lit with LEDs if desired. And then we have we got this from Banshee Studios is kindly offering their Kurt Russell kit. Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little China. Sculptor is Jeff Yeager. Scale and format is a quarter scale bust. Size is nine inches tall, 23 centimeters. Kit comes with extras and water slide decal, so you don't have to worry about painting that shirt. And Scott even had a hand in producing this kit. It's tiny, tiny. The tiniest of hands. <laughs> and then we are up as a sponsor as well, and I am kindly offering... Uh, and we will get into how we're going to give this away. Uh, I will 3D print anything you need out of a couple different. I'll give you some some choices from CA3D or from uh, Ina over at Diclick, Diclick, sorry, Diclick, <laughs> or a well winner piece. If you need something printed that you have, I will offer printing services for two kits. So we'll get that out to two people as uh, prizes. So here we go, Scott. You ready for this? I'm not ready. I am not ready for this. So our process is we're going to go through these one at a time. And you have more pictures on a lot of them, right? Than just one. Yeah, there are more in the thread. So if anyone else does want to see, go over to FPR and V, I'll put that, like I said, links there. If you want to kind of see some of the other pictures that were there, uh, Avram was very kind and did a slideshow, like built these out for us as like he what he took as the best picture that was submitted put it on a slide for us but we do have the ability to go and look at the other pictures online which we may be doing when we start deliberating so we're going to go through this and then we're going to pause and, and, and fight <laughs> fight and deliberate and let's see what we come up with all right so all right. we're making this up as we go yeah so. we really are honestly <laughs> <laughs> i so decided cool. to not look at any of these until right now. And I had to look at them to build this out. So I know a little more than Scott. Not much. All right. Here we go, everybody. First entry. Bam. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. My first thought is I like that it looks kind of gross. <laughs> Get away. Like, well, so, so not the pumpkin uh, part. Like, this, the, the, the horse and the headless horseman. There's some grime in there, and I like that look. Yeah, especially the pumpkins. Um, yeah. You know, they're, they're not clean. Is that a real pumpkin? That was my question. I, I don't know. I like the little ghosts and the dirty candy I like corn. It. I, I, I like it. I, like, and is the, that a real pumpkin? I'm looking at it going, I think it is. Yeah. I, think it I is. don't. It, look, it looks like they use tissue paper to fill out, to make it look like it's lit up. So maybe, I don't know. That'd be good to know. But hey, cool, I, the I, idea that you grab your model kit and stick it on top of a pumpkin is kind yeah, of a cool idea. This is what it's all about, too. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. You know, cool. push the envelope. Just don't have the model. I mean, 
for all intents and purposes, especially if it's a real pumpkin, <laughs> I'm sure this model sits on this person's shelf from the base up. It could be one of those like, carved ones that look like they're real, but they're yeah, not, I, which yes. might be. I, I mean, one of those fake ones that looks like a real that you carve. They're made out of foam. I'll bet, I'll bet. It could be. It could be. But yeah. So this is what makes an online model contest hard because we can't look at it up close. All right. Next entry. Ooh. We have a Cylon Raider. Pretty, pretty sharp. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the Mobius one. And um, I like the weather. I like the there's some weathering there on. The yeah, some stars. weathering there, and yeah. uh, the striping is really clean. Yeah. Uh, cool, Cylon Raider. It, what I didn't like about this model itself was I don't think they had the Cylons in the cockpit. No. Nah. Like, you know, so I don't think the cockpit comes up and you see the three Cylons yeah. there. I really oh. like the original Cylon Raiders so much more than the remakes of the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought that was the weakest part of that show. And frankly, I always, thought, I always thought the Viper was boring. Really? I like yeah, the Vipers. Yes. I always thought the Cylons had the way cooler ships. Oh, they yeah, they did. They totally did. Hey, well done. A plastic kit. Now I'm not a ship person at all. Like I don't, I am not a big, like I wouldn't even know what company originally made this or, but man, well, so I like initially monogram, I think made the original Battlestar Galactic. Okay. Kids, and Mobius redid them studio scale. And if this is the Mobius kit, it's big. I want one I of mean, those. because what it is, is it's big compared to the Viper. So they made it in scale with the Viper. Like okay. Shoot. Where the where the monogram kits were kind of both the same size, and the Viper was like way bigger than it should be, or the Maybe. Raider was smaller. But yeah, well done. It's a it's well done. All right, next. Ooh, okay. All right, we know now. This. I I I I do know who did this one. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I, I do won't... too. But again, I'm not going to say the name. Okay. But. uh I, I will say when I when I saw this one, I was really impressed with the presentation. Yes, uh, it is very sharp. Yes, it, it was. Uh, I believe the base is custom made there too. I don't think that's the base that comes with it. And I really like her face. I really yeah. like her face. Actually, everything. It's really, I like, and the drawings. The everything has a. Yeah, but just the the. Like the smudges on the bottom of the drawing board. I was just gonna say that, and the smudges okay. on the on the bus too. And the smudges on the bus it makes it actually look like an artist studio. Yes, and there's paint dripped on the bottom of the of the stand on the bus. Yep, I like yep. that. See, the little details like that are cool. Now, the only problem I have with the model itself is that would be the biggest wing nut you ever saw in your <laughs> life. On that, I mean. If you give in the You're scale, the biggest wing nut I've ever seen. But, but that's not the painter's problem. <laughs> okay. That is a big wing nut. <laughs> but I just <laughs> noticed it when I was looking at it. Oh, you yeah. know, but again, this is uh really nicely done. Yeah, that is sharp. Nice and just mm. if that makes sense, does mm, make sense? It's like mm, makes sense. All okay. Right. I like it. Ooh, all right. So this is this is one I think we're gonna have to go back and look at the other pictures too. This is the battleship Yamoto from Captain Harlock. Am I right? I think I am. Star Gla Star Blazers. Star, Star Blazers. Is it Captain Harlock so. that ca pilots that thing though? Yeah, I think. Okay, Star Blazer. Yes. Man, that's nice. I always thought this was a cool design. It is a very and it, what it, this thing's like. This is a pretty big kit because too, it's I taken think. off the actual Yamato and yeah. then they. Put it in space, <laughs> but uh, they're definitely ready for a fight. Man, this looks like this was some work. So, Quite a bit of work to put that together. Yeah, so, yeah. and the the panel lines are shading in there. It's not just you know typical one standard gray. That's good to see. Man, nah, cool stuff, man. All right, next entry, and again we're. Don't bait. There's some editing here, so don't base us looking at something for only a couple seconds and thinking 
that's all we looked at it because we're going to be we'll be going back through all this off camera after a while all right Ooh. all right this is cool you know what this I, i'm going to give out some verbal awards while we're doing this. I'm going to give this the, this is something Jason would have made <laughs> award because I made something very similar to this for a model club when, with the Nautilus. And I know online there's a picture of it in the dark with just the lights lighting it up. Is, is this lit? Yeah. Or is so it, that oh. is actually lit. So okay. when, when we're done, we'll go back and look. That does light up on that thing. And then it like kind of glows underwater. Like it's looking like it's underwater. Man, I like it. Reminds that. me too. When I was a kid, I inherited all my brother's G.I. Joe stuff. Yeah. And one of the G.I. Joe outfits he had was that deep sea diver where that helmet would go yeah. over his head and it opened and all that. So uh this the thing and the one I tried to capture with mine that I did for Mono Club with the Nautilus and the the uh Kraken squid thing attacking it, is it reminded me of like when you go to the museum and you look in those little shadow boxes, like through the little pinhole, mm -hmm. and you kind of see like I like this. And it's handled well, like the, the sea creature. It's a great paint job on there. That's really yep. cool. Yep. And sometimes when you're doing things that are going to be lit special, you kind of have to change your shading so they show up in darker light. So we'll go back and look at that online afterwards. Well done. Oh, we know this one because we featured it here on the show. We sure did. We gave one away. Yeah. Uh, we featured this exact paint up on the show. So, oh, man. I... I'll say what I said before. I love the shovel on this kit, the dirt, and on the the especially the eyes on this. I think are handled really, really well. Yeah, I can't zoom in. I wish I could. Um, the scarf, the detail on the scarf. Yeah. Uh, and I love the, the shovel, coat, like you said. I like the little like leaves yeah. added in the base. I never want to see those gates again. <laughs> um. Scott printed the gates for people who don't Scott, know. Scott, yeah, well, Scott, well, Scott printed most of them. I don't know how many Mark had to print afterwards because I gave once he started printing his own stuff. I was like, "Here you go. Here's your file. Here you go." <laughs> no, but this is... Um, this is one of those Jaeger kits. Okay, we all know Jaeger can sculpt Karloff as yeah. the monster with his eyes closed. Okay, but over the last couple of years, he sculpted some Karloff pieces that are just. Karloff, like the um, Jaeger Army thing. Um, Black Cat. Mm -hmm. And now this one. And then, isn't there a more the Executioner out there, too? Yep, that just came. We just had that last yeah. up And, um, you know, and man, I mean, he... I think Jaeger knows more what Karloff looks like than Karloff does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, this, this is really sweet. Okay. Great I mean, paint job. Great paint job. All right, up next. Ooh, the, oh, that's tiny. <laughs> I can say, how big is this? And then wow, I the there's dime. a dime. Wow. Dropping a dime. Now, you don't want to drop a dime on this model because no. you would. Uh... Man. <laughs> this kind of work just amazes. Okay. That yeah. Anybody can work in this scale and do anything in this scale. I wonder if that's amazing. all like brass etched or something. or. Yeah. And even ship yeah. models in general, but yeah, this looks like a metal yeah sales, but maybe very maybe cool. Wrong. Um, but beautiful job, yep. beautiful job. All right, hey, our first plastic model, first plastic plastic figure, figure, model. Fi figure model, yeah. Nice. So okay. I the the mix of the Dracula from Bram Stoker sign with the with which kid is this? So this is the Mobius Broadway Dracula. Okay. Okay. Um, I have. I like. I like the flat black he got on the cape. Most of the time, people paint the cape kind of shiny, but I like the flat. Yeah. Flat like a you know cloth. Um, cape. Now, I I like that supposed he to did... offer any critique on any of these or no? No. Okay. I don't think so. I think we just look for the positives in each one. Okay. All right. Um, I like the that the fire, because a lot of times people paint fire wrong, and they go from red to light. 
Whereas that's not how fire works. It goes from the white to yellow to orange to red to black. Like it does that. So this is painted correctly. Sometimes blue, huh? If you light yeah. a handful of sparklers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> well done. Well done. Ooh. So when I first look at this, I was like, what the heck did this guy do? Half a model? But now I see what he did here. Um, That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. I love that concept. I like that there's foam stuffed in there. I That is cool. I I would love to go back. I have that book that has it and see if that's actually what it looks like. In How accurate the armature yeah. is. That is a... Uh... What kid is that? I would have to believe to be able to cut it like that. It's a vinyl kit. So I would venture to guess it's the geometric. Um, just because it would almost be sacrilege to cut up a billiken like that. <laughs> um, it's not the new X plus vinyl one. Is maybe it? it is the new X plus. So it could be the new X plus. It might be with some flocking on the legs. It might... So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, we have to look. I think it is that new X because the eye look. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Very cool concept. Well, I like that idea. It'd be cool to see like one of all of those done this way. Mm-hmm. Like accurate cutaway. Pretty cool. All right. Next. Yellow Wizard of Oz. I love the yellow brick road. I'm a Tin Man sucker. So <laughs> that didn't sound right. I'm a sucker for the Tin Man. Any <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope you're gonna rust. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man, I really like I, that. Too, I would man. like to see more angles of this kit. Yeah. Um, we'll go see if there are. I'm some. assuming. I, I'm not sure the scale of this kit. Uh, I'm assuming it's that's a lazy Susan. It's on. Is that outside? Looks like it's outside. So that's siding. Yeah. Or no, that's on a glass table outside. Right. So but it's glass tables big. can be small, they can be big. Yeah. So I don't know the scale is. Um, I've never seen this model. No, I'd like to know what it. I really like that Tin Man. So um, that's cool. Well done. But there it is, and a little oh. dog too. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched this the other night. We know. Did you really? I love Wizard of Oz. Hey, Medusa. I love the patterning on the snake. Nice and clean. Yeah, and I like the... I'm assuming it's a wash that he did over the snake scales, too, to really bring yeah. them out. Um, I cool. said he, it could be a she. Could sorry. be a she, yep. Okay, but... Yeah, I love the patterning on this. For sure. The eye's kind of glowing, too, it looks yeah. like. yep. Um, nice. Yeah, this is this is really well done. So, uh, you right. know, and then... The, yeah, it looks like she turned the guy to stone. I mean, yep. there he is. Stoned out. He's stoned. <laughs> nice I like job. The, I like that the armor on there looks a little weathered, too, and not just straight up, like, brand new. That's nice. All right, up next. This is the 3D printed one, right? This is Joe Hudson's... Uh, yeah. From Rise 3D back... Yes. From Rise 3D, yep. And a uh, nice kit. Um, lots going on here in this kit. I like the ground. I really like the groundwork here. I like that that green is a really nice green. Shading, I, yes, I I do as well. Um, and the leather kind of does got a leather look to it. Yeah, it's got that. Yes, that's on yeah. Tunic there. All right, next one. Oh boy. So, <laughs> oh boy, is this a forced perspective kit too? Kind of, yeah. or you know what I mean? Like, just wow. I gotta go and look. I love that water straining out of there. Yes, I do too. Man, uh, I gotta see this in person somehow, or I gotta go and look at the other. Pictures. Well, see what I'd like to know sometimes when I see something like this, how did they do it? So, yeah, I and the bullet splashes in the water coming up there in mm-hmm. front. Man, is that I want to think that this is a 
I think this is a Warhammer thing. You would know better than me. And this I is really nice. You know what I like too something? is the color of the water here. Hold on, I got okay. The, the color oh, of the water. Cool. Yeah, the color of the water is great. That green, that's kind of gross green. That it looks like some oil got in the water too. Maybe that's man. I, I like those splashes and the drainage. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to looking at the other pictures of this. That's really nice. Ooh. This but is really nice, seen... too. Nice and, like, delicate. Yeah, that is, uh... Very... Metallics? Metallics are hard. So good on them for trying to hard. do yep. all of it in metallics to get it to come out pretty good. I like that. All right. Hey, well done. This is pretty cool. Up next. Oh. I like this. A First reposed. impression. Yeah, it, it, it and I like, know, I like the like dry it. brush look on this. Yes, I do too. I do too. Um, and I like the repose instead of the arms straight out. Like, yeah, I've seen a lot of guys do this over the years with this kit. Repose it, and um, like the mud on the shoes too. Yeah, <laughs> man, that's cool. Um, I like how he's got the. I don't know how where he got the raised Frankenstein on the rock from, but because it kind of looks like the Dracula base with the grass tufts as uh -huh. well, and he's kind of incorporated. Oh, and look, so he's got gray concrete work, which is great. Then he's got a rock that's more of a rock color and not a gray. <laughs> yeah, Just saying. Yeah. All right. Up next, one of my gripes with the original Aurora kit: the the rope to nowhere around his waist. <laughs> Okay, so the glow one they oh, included the, the knot from the Wolfman kit. Yeah. Okay, but on the original release, the knot was not there, and um, I was like, "Why? Why? What? what <laughs> where?" All right, up next. Oh, what is it? Okay, denizens of Zoe. the air and elemental, the air Ooh. elemental. I really like those feathers. I like the colors in those feathers and the jewelry. I do too in the jewelry and the flesh tones are really nice. Yeah. A little detail on the base coming out there. Yeah. Um a nice piece. These are nice when they're painted too. These are Yeah, very cool. I yeah, I love that the way it's carved out in the base. Yeah, and the arch in it. Like, yep. Um and okay. nice smooth flesh tones. Ooh. Okay, nice, nothing blotchy there. Nice smooth. I like the lips are not overly red. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, that, that's, yeah. All right. What's, all right, King Model Man, what's the replacement parts here? Uh, from the waist up, except for the hands. So, um, is all replacement. Cool. I like, I think that's a Jaeger head. And I don't know who made that replacement torso i should know um so there was a replacement official replacement torso maybe maybe this guy just did this person sorry guy again i keep screwed up here yeah i like it um i can tell you though when I, when I look at this from a distance like you know when i first popped up i shouldn't say the distance because that sounds bad when it first popped up the shirt looked like it was cloth to me it looked yeah, like it, was it does a doll it looked like it was a doll. Yeah. So that was really nicely done. Cool. And, All right, up uh, next. Oh, Ooh. you like this one, don't you? I do. I love the bandage work on there. So this is the Pestilence um, ride. Yeah. And um, I think the skin's fantastic. The, the bandage work is fantastic. The cloth is fantastic. Don't you know, fantastic. so here's what's weird to me, because I'm insane. Okay. I'm okay with the bride models being flesh tone. But I don't like when they paint the monster flesh tone. <laughs> so what's wrong with me? Okay. Well, I think that's because it's, it's how it's always been, right? Like she was never painted green or anything. Like in advertising or promo or. Yeah, and I'm trying to think. 
She was always just Maybe featured. Somebody she was out there knows if her original makeup was the same as Karloff's, which was that blue green because of the way it would film in black and white. Yeah. I don't know. But this is really nicely done. Yeah. So, I, and I, the, the brass, I don't even want to say it because you're going to make fun of me. Brass, brass balls <laughs> there are handled really well, too. I think, man, that's really nice. You know, your mom handles brass okay. balls. Okay. All right. All right. Ah. I just sold this not too long ago. Did you? Who sculpted this? This is a William Paquette piece. Is it? Welcome okay. to New Jersey is what it was called, I think, or something uh, like that. Well, I want to say this is a mess, and I don't mean it badly. Yeah, I, I really mean... like the the stenciled lettering on the on the drum. Yes, yeah, the weathering on the on the barrel is really. And it looks like mud. That's the first looks, thing I noticed. Yeah. It looks like mud. It looks gross. Perfect. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly looks what like it should New look Jersey. like. Yeah. Looks, yeah, looks exactly like New Jersey. Take that, all you Jersey bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Really nice. Like, yeah, that's gr- that's good and gross. Well done. Oh, oh, Scott's favorite Kong. <laughs> what piece is this? You? What is this? I is... don't know. I've never seen Man. this piece. There's um, three T Rexes there. Yeah. V Rex. V Rex. They were V Rex in that. I'm just going to go on record as saying there's no way Kong could have beat three of these. <laughs> okay. I like the scale work. I, I really do. I like the, it looks like the Jackson colors of the regular kind of gorilla silverback colors. Mm-hmm. Man. And that's tough because I bet. I'll bet like it was all put together at once. And I was going to say, that's not an easy kit to put that's, together. That is not an easy kit to wrestle with while painting. So well done. All right. Hey. John Lennon. John Lennon. I believe this is a uh that was just yeah. Posthumous uh John Lennon. Um <clears throat> I like the glasses. It's the first thing I noticed too. The glasses yeah. and Handled the fact he's standing well. on a real record. I'm not sure what the record is. It's the flip side of it's a, a forty five. We know that. Forty five, yeah. yeah. With the little forty-five thing in the middle, so that's cool. Yeah, I love the bass. That's and, that's cool. Uh, and yeah, just the guitar itself is really well done too. And it's I don't strings. Know if those are it's, strings in there. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, so, it's uh, string. Hey, that's oh, that's tough. <laughs> that is tough. That, that is would tough. be. I would be swearing quite a bit. And I like. It's just simple. It's exactly what it should be. Just a little nice, simple little tribute piece. That's really nice. All right. Next. Oh, more Harry House. Who did this originally? This. Oh, man. I'm trying to think who did this. Um, we got the dragon, the two, the two horned Cyclops, the regular Cyclops, and then the guy with the. Right? Yeah, see, I'm not a. Enough of a fan of the movie to be able to name him. Yeah, I don't remember his name either. But uh I love that dragon. That's I, I like yeah. I, I always like that dragon. I just always love the Cyclops. Yeah. So and that it's yeah. hard like to make fur look right, it's tough sometimes, especially for shading and, and stuff. Well, and especially yeah. until the X plus kit, the X plus vinyl kit. Yeah. The vinyl Cyclops did not have real detailed fur in there, yeah. so it, it was hard to get in there and do stuff with that. This was, is this this isn't lunar models. Who did this? This is. I'm, I'm not, not sure who did this. I like the club. The club's really good. The skin, the flesh, the shading on some of that flesh is really nice. Cool piece. I'll bet it takes up a chunk of shelf too. Like it's, I don't think it's that small. Man, well done. Ooh, all right, reptile. What jumps out to you first here? There's something that really jumps out to me, and I really like it. Uh, the highlight on the dress. Yes. Uh, yeah. That yellow kind of, it looks very painterly in a way. Mm-hmm. I love that. So, um. And I, the name, that yellow, the reptile is done really, and her face is great too, but man, that dress, I kind of want to, that's, 
and I know it's supposed to kind of look like light reflecting maybe a little, and that's, but I love how it looks so painterly. I love that. The snake looks cool. That's, I still got to get it. That's Todd's kit, right? Yeah, Todd that's Todd's. Yep. I, yep. Okay. Escape, escape hatch hobbies. All right, up next. Oh, the Adams Family House. Have you ever so, built this? Have you ever built this? Tell me about it. Anybody? No, I started. It's a pain in the ass. That's what I figured. It's got, <laughs> it's got all the little ghosties in it. Now it looks like he's got this one lit. Man. And it comes with all those window things. Um, Just the, 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 the fencing along the roof. It, I would. Yeah. What, what's funny about this kid is it's not accurate to the show at all. Okay. <laughs> it kind of is, but it isn't. Um, but um, I like it, though. It, it, yeah, it is lit up because there's wires coming out the back. Right. That's so why. Goes, so, yeah. so unless unless the lights in the front are lit up, too. Maybe. Yeah. See the ghost in the front porch. So, yeah, it had ghosts that would come up. You have lurch lurching at the top of the. Oh, yeah. He's in that front window. Fire. But I yeah, I, I've seen this first one I ever saw painted gray with a black roof. I, I've seen these done with like green roofs usually. Um, and one of the bad things that happened early on when Polar Lights and Praying Mantis reverse engineered these kits, they didn't catch a lot of the detail that was in like the wood and stuff in their mm -hmm. early reverse engineers. So this kit lost a lot of uh, detail in the reissue, and I'm assuming this is most likely a reissue. You don't see too many of them. So, hey. But uh, it's still a nice kit. Yeah, I love nice seeing people build this kind of stuff. The little fence with the graveyard there yeah. is nice. So, um, cool. Up next. Oh, the thing. The thing. That is a that is a very very nice paint job. That, that's a nice paint job. It, it it's um. It it's very. It looks like you're looking at a photograph to me. Yeah. This paint job. Um. And wasn't he in the movie? Wasn't he like vegetable or something? I don't know. I never saw this movie. Oh, or the oh my god! Oh, we got another one out. Scott never saw that. I thought he was like plant material or something, and that's why he was gr like green. And I like the the. It actually looks like it could be made out of a plant. <laughs> if that makes yeah, sense, I love yeah. Um, that's really nice and really nicely done. Yeah, yeah. Really done. I love the veining, the modeling. That that's really nice. The lips too. I like the color. That's an easy part to screw up a lot of times, mm -hmm. and that I think is handled really, really well. Those and you can see, for modelers that don't know, especially up in the forehead, I don't know if that's sponge work or modeling that he did up there, mm -hmm. but you, it really shows. It really it it comes does. through nice. There's yep. a lot of different colors in there. Yep. All right. Oh, another uh, Millicent Patrick. Which one is yeah, this? Oh, this is more... Jesse's. This is Jesse's, right? This is Jesse's bust. Um, I like the paper. I like the paper looks like it's actually wrinkled there. Yeah. And and um I'll have to go back and look, see if there's other pictures of the base to see those. And I'm wondering if I printed that pencil or not. You might so, have. Uh, no, hey. I might have printed that pencil, yeah. But yeah, I'd like to see more pictures of that base. But um you know, you know, it's nice clean. Yep, I would say nice and clean. Job. Uh, right. Okay, next next up. Ooh, a predator. You don't see a like lot a of purple eye armor. predator or what? I think this yeah, I think this is some sort of sci fi it reminds me of like predator mixed with cyber ninja in a weird way. And I don't know and again, I don't know what kit this is, so don't kill me if I You know, this is and it's something that miniatures do. Well, first of all, the armor's painted beautifully. Yeah. Okay. But the first thing that grabs me with this kit, and I've seen this done on miniatures, is those blue horn things that come out, how they blend that from light to dark. Yeah. Out, you know. I was going to say the same thing. And that just looks so awesome. But the armor on this just looks, this is really a nice job on this. Nice and sharp. Uh, and predators are not easy at all to get. There's a lot of modeling and, and stippling that you got to do in there to get that to look right that's, this is well done all right thanks Ooh, alien predator straight to alien all right we have a queen uh, alien 
I don't know what piece this is. I think this is wicked. I think this is 3D printed, but oh, okay. I'm not sure. Um that's cool. This is his George's this isn't George's new piece, is it? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. But hey, but See, I love the blue we're highlights. This for the first time. Yeah. That's so, I yeah. like that they did it matches the movie pretty close with the blue highlights on the black. Which was always hard to do. It's like sometimes you do it too much and it looks wrong not enough mm. it doesn't look right aliens especially from aliens it's it's hard to do sometimes to get them right i think this is pretty close all right next <laughs> oh, this is fun as hell you know what i love about this uh this is your, is this your kid wish... huh is this your kong no this is aurora kong pal <laughs> I hate to break oh, it to okay. you. That's an Aurora Kong. But no teeth, because they all so I, I, Honestly, this... I, I'm going to give an award, another verbal award, the Makes Me Smile award. <laughs> this is a Makes Ooh. Me Smile when it, I looked at it. Like, it, it does make me smile. Matter of fact, I think that's the Aurora base kind of on there a little bit. Yeah. Um, Resculpted. I, I love the, the the pliers with the teeth sitting on the bottom. I, I do. I, and I'll say this. I know out. we're not supposed to, I know we're not supposed to critique, but I would have liked to seen the teeth just maybe a little shaded or something, just so they stood out more because it took me yeah. a minute to see the teeth. But I love the idea. I love the idea. Oh Hermes. yeah, this and I love this. Hermes about to get smashed, gummed. There. Look at this smashed Rudolph. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hermes about to get gummed up. So that's great. Gum, gummed up from humble bumble. Put that, put that in your uh, bumble and smoke it. Oh man, that that's pretty cool. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Oh, one of Paul's kits from the thing. That's this again. It's a gross kit. This is not one you want to. People will be like, oh, what what's wrong with you? But hey, well done. the The thing that stands out to me the most right now is like the denim is really nice. I was just gonna say yeah, that. that denim is that, really yes. Nice. The denim is really, really nice. I, I concur 100%. That's a, and again, that's a hard color to get right, too. Man. Well, denim in general is hard to get right, but when you get it right, yeah, that's it's cool. really nice. All right, up next. Oh, something up my alley. This is really nice. This is a 3D piece, too. Yeah, this is a, I think this is the wicked one. It could be wrong. I think you're right. But, man. Again, yeah, that's really well done. As a painter, here's what's hard. I'd about like to this. see some close-ups on this, but yeah, let's go see if there are some. Here's what's hard about this as a painter: when you have something that's all black, you have to start differentiating the different kinds of blacks that might be in there, and I think this handles that pretty well because the coat and looks subtly, yes, you don't want it stark contrast, like where's capes hanging down in front of the tombstone. Yeah, yes, they're shading there, but it's so subtle. Yeah, beautiful job. And the, the pants look different than the coat. The bird looks different than the coat and the pants. Like there's mm -hmm. the guitar neck looks different. Like it's a different black. Like his hair looks different. Hair, everything yeah. like that's great to separate. The strap on the guitar is different. Like really cool piece. Man. Oh. Oh. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So that's a miniature. Has to be. It's got to be. Small. I would guess too. It's yes. a I love that presentation with the block of wood and the skull. That's Especially like the yeah. block of wood he used is yeah. gnarly with the knot out of it and stuff. And that gold um, is really nice. There's some shading that looks like on her face. I like. It that. almost looks two dimensional. Yeah. It almost looks like it's painted in there. Yeah. Totally does. Doesn't it? Yep. Man, this is a cool. Very cool. All right, put on. I have no idea what this is, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I always, I keep saying, I gotta say something better than cool. This is nice. This... Love this. I love that it's still like like really dark theme, but there's colors in, there. like there's flashes. I have no idea what this is from or what it's supposed to be, but I like that it's knife. Really the knife blade looks really nice. It all looks good. It, it I think all, that, everything. that, and I, I wonder if I'm, I, and I could be totally wrong, uh, that 
floor looks very contrast paint to me. I'm, I, I'm trying to judge myself. So if that's true, the person that did this, let me know. I'd like to know if that's like a certain, I almost can pick out what color I think that was used. For. But for people who don't know, that's great. If that's really is contrast paint or speed paint, that's what you can do pretty simply with some, some speed paint. I like mm -hmm. that. If it is. Man, I like the mask. That's a, that's a very interesting piece with a lot of cool stuff going. That poor pink doll. <laughs> God, God. It's like a beating. And the, it looks like the pump. The, is that a pumpkin? Yeah. Like crying. And I'd like to know what this is. I'll look it up. Cool. All right. Oh, boy. We know what this is. Oh, yes, and we know who did it. Um, and and I'm I'm only gonna say, this guy can not only digitally sculpt, okay, but he can paint beautifully as well. And um, like look at that water. I just got you got you beat me to the water blows me away. Amazing. It looks like it has depth to it, and I now, think it's, does, it was does does clear, kid, right? Because I, I, I know you opened this and yeah. managed not to break it. Um. Did it come with that base? Or did yeah, he it did. It did. Okay. Yeah. Or and was no. it clear coat? Was it clear? I don't know if it came with that base. Yeah, there was a clear piece, I think, that came. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But hey, that's really well yeah. done. I, yes. The weathering in there, top notch. Top. Now, this is tiny. This has to be tiny. So. I'm going to tell you what this paint job reminds me of. And this is not a slight of any kind. When I look at this paint job, it looks like it's an old knickknack that my mom would have had sitting around the house. Yeah. At Christmas time, like a little Christmas decoration thing. And uh, it's kind of cool. I, and I, I think like that's it. to its benefit, in a way. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Now, granted, my mom probably wouldn't have had the mouth and the package <laughs> opening up. Okay, but I'm just saying, but but that's kind of the allure of the piece too. You know, here's this innocent yeah. piece, and bleh. I really like the wood floor on this one. Yes, yes, I'll, I like I'll that agree. the edges have a slight like w like lighter shade to them or lighter tint to them. Um, this is, and I have a feeling it's probably like this big, like tiny. Man, all right, next. Oh man. This <laughs> just wow. Oh boy. I mean the backlit uh control panel. The So uh, do they do Do they sell that? Someone? Or do you think I, he made it and printed it out on I I like That to is know cool. How they made it. Um, you know what I really like is the bottom, the grate with the light shining through with that shadow. Yeah, this is really nice. This is. Um, so, again, we'll talk later about <laughs> what we looked at. But wow. Man, I like the lights on the on him. I like the blotchy skin, the Borg skin. The Yeah, I, I like. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, we'll come back. Oh boy, more. A Stan Arts piece. Another Stan Arts piece, the Tauntaun. Oh. Now, is this the Luke or the Han? Is that this... is Han. That is Han. It is Han. That's right. Yeah. That, oh man. This really brings out the look of the Tauntaun that you. Yeah, I was, gonna, that, I was just going to say. It's the Tauntaun's face, the eyes. Even Han, like, I know it's hard to see, but his face is handled really well. Mm -hmm. Everything on this, I think, is. And again, this is a great kit. Yeah. Hey. Oh man, that weathering that looks good. That looks cool. I like that. Oh. All right. You know what's really really nice about the 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 holster? Yes, that I, I, leather I that matches that Star Wars seventies leather. Even though yeah. this is the eighties, you know what I'm talking about like that. Yep. That's that's that perfect color, right there. Oh, all right. <laughs> what is the drag hag? Somebody did a model of Jesse. 
Ah, um, is that Dame Edna, that puppet that used to be on? No, I know what you're thinking about, though. What that that? Uh, Madam. 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 Yeah. It does kind of look like her, though. The drag hag. What is this? This is a... Uh... I believe it was a weirdos kit. It has been reissued as a bunch of things. Now I don't know if this has been customized or not. Maybe. That's funny. Obviously, with the hair, it's customized and stuff. So that's funny. I always like to see plastic kits, even if they're cleanly painted, like they would paint the factory buildups. Yeah. I still like to see them mm -hmm. uh, done. Very cool. <laughs> so funny. It totally reminds me of that, madam. A weird chin. Oh, one of my favorite. I need to buy this still. Uh, Jean Louis oh, yeah. Crayon. The the box. What is it called? The box. What was it called? It's Jack called. Man, I have. I will tell you this. The castings are a little rough. Okay. They uh, always were. But this man. But this this is really uh. I love I the see... paint job. I when I see paint ups like this, I remember why I bought the kit. Yeah. Because it's really cool. I like the, uh, one of the things that stand out on this to me are the things in the box, the little gargoyles or whatever yep. they are. But just, again, a really nice paint job with all the little dots on the lid. Chris. And yep. all that. This, this is really nice. And it looks. I think that again, if it's dry brush, it works to its advantage in this. Like it, mm -hmm. I love the texturing in that part, and I it just as a whole piece, I think that works really, really. Well. That's, man, I gotta go back and buy this one. <laughs> oh man, I, have you ever El seen Diablo. this? No, I am glad you are here. El Diablo. <laughs> no, I that's. That's cool. So that's a ghost of ghost Castle, Castle Marais. Castel Marais. Um, and then I like notice when he's got out the window, you see like hell out there that it's uh, <laughs> you know, like a volcanic thing out the window. Do you see that? That's, that's great. <laughs> okay. That is cool. Um, I don't know what the head's from. Yeah, I don't know either. What's the cape from? That's all a Phantom of the Opera kit. Okay. With the exception of the pitchfork and the head. Okay. Yeah, that's an Aurora Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> that's awesome. That's fun. <laughs> I like, see, I love the spirit of modeling. And <laughs> that's like right there. That's cool. Mm. Hey. Oh, wait. All right. We got Michael Myers. I like the eyes on that. That is that is creepy. Yeah, that actually is pretty creepy. <laughs> like, because it, that's it the one thing you kind of want to see is Michael Myers' eyes, and man, that. And you know, this was a very underrated kit. Yeah. Um, I will say though, the best version of this kit I ever saw, Charlie Robson did. Yeah. Um, where he scratch built that whole base out of wood. Yeah. Um. But. I you like know, the this... gravestone too. The gravestone has some nice weathering on there. That looks like you know, like you get that sort of look on really mm -hmm. old gravestones. The the cloth is handled well. This the wood steps look nice. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Well, this is nicely done. Oh, a little Harryhausen tribute. That is a Harryhausen tribute. What is the rug? Is that a uh? It looks like a dead mystic from from Dark Crystal. I know, but I mean everything else is a Harry Housen. Yeah. You got Talos. Excuse me. Medusa. This is a lot of work. I, I would like to kind of pull this all together. This is pretty nice. I guess this is a very arm. limited run kit too. I'm yeah. Mistaken. Cool. All right. Up next. Hey, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I like the skin on the werewolf, on Wolfman. I do. I, I, I do. And the rug, I don't know what he got. 
that rug. It's probably a dollhouse rug, yeah. huh? Is that photograph? That rug. The photograph on the wall, did that come with it? I don't think so. That's that's a nice little. I don't think so. Modeling. And that desk looks like desk. It looks like desk wood. Like Yeah, I love the retro chair and all yeah. that. Yeah. It's uh but um all right. This was a good scene in the movie too. So. Now, this is everyone's favorite model, right? Plastic Frankenstein model. Yes, but I will tell you, <laughs> this model's been heavily modified. That's what I was going to say. What's changed from this, from the original okay. to this? Because this is there's a lot of work that went on here that I don't think well, people. First of all, doing. there's there's rock in the background or or background. Okay. The doors open. Okay. Definitely a replacement head. Um. And it looks like he definitely beefed the pants up, unless that was a replacement bottom um, yeah. thing that he did there. But, um, you know, I love the customization. Is this, were, did the shelves come with all those bottles, too? No, the shelves and the chains and all that. The shelves aren't even there. In the yeah, that's what I, because I have this, I just never opened it. Like a chest there. The rat doesn't come with it, too. So. Uh, this is really not. I like that it's heavily customized. I like that there's a lot of modeling going on here. That's what I like to see. Model. As far like that, this is cool. Oh, another plastic. I love that scale work. I love the like right in his thigh right there and into his stomach. Mm -hmm. Those are cool colors. The modeling, the stippling. Yeah, it's kind of got that. Uh, Horizon Gillian box art. Um, yeah. Look. And uh, this has always been one of been a fun kit. It looks like he shaved that diamond down. That's that's usually in the creature's head a little bit, yeah. or it could just be the angle. I want to see but, that werewolf uh, behind him too. The wolf thing. Love to see these Aurora kits in here. Yeah, it's now, he to chose see. to go with water. Um, on the base, and that's always a point of contention. Is it water? Is it sand? What is it? <laughs> and no one can ever give me a clear answer. I think it's sand. I think it's oh, okay. I'm that's giving Jeepers this a... creepers, right? No, this Jeepers. is <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that's the ghoul. From uh, Fallout. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That leather work, dude. And I know who did this. I saw pictures. But some of the detail shots. This. I'm going to give this a verbal award. Best weathering. Like that. That leather. Looks like leather. That's that, really nice. That hat's really nice. The skin's great. Man, the metal work on the guns looks really good. The brass. The brass looks like brass. <laughs> it's really nice. That's really nice. All right. Oh, something up your alley. Hey, well, winner. Look at that. And again, this is how cartoons should be painted. Yep. Clean. Um, and, uh, this is just a fun big piece, man. This yeah. is a big piece. Ooh. So I got to give kudos because when I see this, I know this person probably printed it themselves as well as cleaned it up and painted it and, and all that. Colors are all accurate. It, I nice said, that was my next, that the rosy color is. Yeah. Perfect. I love that color. Yeah, this is cool. And even get like white for uh, it's Betty, right? For her hair, like, Judy. Get Judy, who's Betty? Betty Rubble, I'm thinking of. For Judy, yeah. that's great hair. That's a good color. All right, moving on. Ooh, another alien. Now this thing looks real to me. This yeah, thing that's looks like that's walking weird. on this guy's modeling bench. That's and this again. This is the difference between aliens. This is from Alien Three, so it looks different. And man, that's 
that's really close to the movie. That's what it should. Yeah, be the like. work in the skin tones here is really nice. That is like like the piece goes over his shoulder there. Yep, that's yeah. that's that's really nice. Yep. Oof. Very cool. Oh no. We know who did this one too. This oh. Oh, I mean, I, this is gonna suck judging me when we get to the end. Yeah. So this. This was really well done. The snake. The uh I love that pot. It looks so gross. <laughs> it's perfectly gross. That spider on the ground, the 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 like the the modeling and the patterning on that spider. Yep. Um the chopping block. Chopping looks block so with all too. the vegetables and mushrooms. Mortar and pestle in there. This is really nicely done. A or in the cage? Yeah, there's a lot, man. Oh, it gets even better. <laughs> there's one hell of a paint job. And we know who did this one, too. I know who did this one. Yeah. The eyes are fantastic. Do they jump out at you? They just pierce And, and I'm just going to say, too, he just did, they just came out with another kit that we'll put in the next episode um, in this series. And he did an equally as good paint job on that. Um, that scarf is really nice. Scarf yeah. is really nice, yes. Um, but yeah, you're right. Those eyes are just, they nail you. And they're like the character in the movie, especially at that point. Yeah. Just looking right through you. Yep. Man. What a great paint job. And his hand, if people can't see it on their screen, go to the page, look at his hand, and look at all the little hairs. That I was going to ask if that was hairs yeah. on his hand, yep. because that was amazing. Yep, he's yes. got a little hairs painted on his hand. It's, it's... Oh, nice. What kit is this? This is the Polar Lights Phantom, I believe with a replacement head. If not, this person, I think, modified the head. This kit got a lot of flack. It wasn't great. Okay, but I mean, it included the organ. You got the organ and the bass and all that. Um, and I think the original sculpt was better. I, I think when it went for um, engineering, it got screwed up overseas. Okay. Man, if I remember I, correctly. I love the purple, like the, what would that be in the middle? What would that, be? whatever that is. That purple in there, I really, really like. It's like a cummerbund, I think. Yeah, cummerbund. That's what I think. <laughs> Thinking back to prom, cummerbund. That is a really, really cool purple. I like, and I like that they they took the purple that's very similar to the bow tie or the tie, and put it into it looks like into the cape. A uh, cape the lining. Liner. Yeah. yeah, and the flesh tone is really nice, especially on its hands. I like that color for the phantom. And the eyes, you know, yeah, that's the eyes. that's a decent paint job. On like you said, might not have been like everyone's favorite kid, but that I think it does makes this. And that mask is super creepy, by the way. <laughs> All right, ooh, a Wrightston Frankenstein. That is really nice. That is some good flesh. That's some good rotting flesh too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I kind of like, like the blank eyes. Yeah. You know, like there's no pupil. Or, like cataract you know. over like that? Yeah. yeah. Man, especially like. Oh. That's really good flesh work for what it is. It's like from that upper lip into the nose area I and the teeth. Ooh. Now I'm gonna assume there's not another kit of this in the contest. No, I don't know. Cause I'm gonna tell you this is the best looking version, the best job I've ever seen done on this kit. I agree. Okay. This is the forced lighting shadow. Uh, yes. This is amazing. This is just this yeah. is really nicely done. Oh. 
I'm starting to get depressed. <laughs> figure this out. We got Mike from Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. I have this. Oh, see, I was going to say, is that Sean Nagel? <laughs> it actually that looks like Sean Nagel. Um, That's kind of a little bit. Maybe Sean in five years when he's yeah. <laughs> I want to paint mine on this. This is good. This is yeah. So no, shoes are really nice. Shoes. The the colors are dead on for that. Really, really well. Shirt. I like the color on the shirt. The real pale uh, yeah. green shirt and the Good beard. Choice. All right. Up next. Hi. Hey, garbage can man. Trash can man. Trash can man. That's what it was. Trash can man. I love that I green. This. And the garbage can. Too. That's a really nice, dirty garbage can. Like metal. And that's. The pencil looks like a pencil. <laughs> in a compass. Yeah. I wonder how many people remember those compasses. Do the kids still use those? Yeah, I, I still have them in my room. I am. We're yeah. drawing circles, yeah. The kids are like poking holes and shit. Oh, like no, that. yeah, they're trying to kill each other. Oh, like the nice. eyes. It, it was nice. Okay. Uh-oh. More predators. In Dutch. In Dutch. Hmm. That base? You know, well... Camouflage, nice clean paint job all around. And again, I know we're not supposed to critique it all. But I'm going to say this for anyone that ever enters a contest that does this and puts artificial shrubbery in. Okay. You got to paint it. You can't yeah. just let it sit there. You got to paint it. And I'm not criticizing. This is really the camouflage is beautiful. The, the kid is painted beautifully. Okay, but I'd like to see a little more weathering or whatever, or some highlights on those branches and stuff. You I, know. For me, I love seeing the Predator with the mask on more than with, like, his face, usually. And I like that this has that. Well, I don't have boobs. You don't want to yeah, Predator. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Yep, that too. It's skin tone. Oh. Dutch Arnold's skin is really nice as well. Like, oh, man. What? Oh. Next one. Ah, <laughs> this is funny and original as hell. Okay, I, and look at the eyes. Look at the floor where it's, where the. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's cool. I like this a lot. This is I. I do too. This is this is a fun piece. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is a fun piece. This gets the, uh, make, again, another made a smile award. This is cool. What's your yeah. favorite head out of all those heads from the show? That clown was always pretty scary. I like the, the mask. The witch doctor mask, if you want to call it. Right next to the clown. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I like the one right over the left side of the door with the red eyes. Yep, that's a. Favorite. And I like the one in the upper left. The hat. I, with that the, robot uh, in the top right. I like, yeah. Yeah, they're all good. This is. Yeah, this, this is a fun piece. I wonder where we got all the heads. I don't know. <coughs> huh. All right. Next. Hey. The polar lights. This is polar lights, right? The Godzilla? Yeah. This is. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is polar lights, Godzilla. It's a big kit. And um, this, this one's a crazy kit, man. And I got to tell you, I, I have one started. And this kit's a bitch to seen because. Yes, it is. <laughs> where the where the parts came together, it's like it lost its detail. Yep. So you almost have to putty, raise, and re -skull, Yep. If I remember what and I started. And I did it, and I had it on my desk at work, and a kid knocked it off and it broke. Actually, I think they watched the show, that the kid that broke <laughs> Man, you got to make them pay for it, then. Yeah. I have it. In P no, I got a new one. Remember, you gave it to me. Didn't you? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh, boy. That's some pretty nice skin work there, my friends. And I love that cloth. That blue cloth. This is... Uh... Teal? Was that teal? Not blue. Teal, like teal? Like... Oh, I, I'm just noticing the monkey coming over the yeah. thing. This is I jazzy. think I have this kit. I haven't even... This print. The mega piece. She looks a little stoned. She does but, look a little stoned. Um, That's how I like them. 
And she's ready for you to make your move. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is really nicely painted. Uh, yeah. The couch texture. And again, I'm going to say this because I'm sure this is a 3D print. I'm 100% sure this is a 3D print. Yes. Okay. How would you ever sculpt the texture into that couch? You couldn't. Thank you. You couldn't. Well done. That's so all I'm going to say. Can I critique the? Well can I critique the, critique the sculpt though? Yeah, yeah, you can. The leg that. that's over the couch is too long. Yeah. Maybe. I'd have to look. What under the skirt? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have to, yeah. I, <laughs> that's really nice, though. The, Man, the I love that flesh tone. I, that, the paint is beautiful. Yeah. Right. Ah, Morton Joe. Who is that? And Morton Joe from Fury Road. Let me guess you didn't see Fury Road. Uh oh, Mad Max? No. Uh, I saw the very first Mad Max when it was called Road Warrior. Yeah. And yeah, I don't That's know. the Never second one. It. Is it? Yes. Mad Max is the first one. Road okay. Warrior is the second one. I don't know which one I saw then. I like the, the, the teeth. The weathering on the mask here is great. The eyes are really nice. This is It's a nice, simple little piece. Love the hosing. That, that's, what did she look like? Very cool. Hey, there we go. That is a crisp helmet. Yeah, considering it's molded in chrome, too. Right, yeah. That is... So you I wonder see, if you just I love that you transparent. If you use a transparent on there and lost it, that's what I'm trying to see. What's in the reflection? I can see like a bookcase or something. Um, the original kit doesn't come with eyes, so he put the eyes in there. That's and the bone is nice. That's a really nice. See, and this is something I was just having this conversation. I forgot with who. Okay, but when people paint skulls. And paint them white. I want yeah. to brain them. Okay. <laughs> the only way that skull gets white is if you take and bleach it. And I know you got freak friends that do shit like that. So, <laughs> you know, but I'm okay with the teeth being white because, you know, obviously you had good hygiene yeah. up to a point. Okay. But yeah, the bone color is. That's a good, yeah. To me, what a bone color would be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we have Galadriel. And this is nice. Yeah, that's that is. So I want to point out on this kit right here. Okay, and and I don't know, Lord of the Rings. Yes. Well, no. In my opinion, no. It is not Lord of the Rings. It is from the Rings of Power on Amazon, which in my wheelhouse okay. does not count as Lord of the Rings. But yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, I like that she's not all tanned and made up. She's pale. Um, her eyes are nice. Her hair is uh, That's what I wanted to talk about. Um, that is great blonde hair. Really, yes, nice. that is that is fantastic blonde hair. That is probably some of the best blonde hair I've ever seen. Yeah, actually, and that's hard. To I'd do. like to know how they did it. It's almost like there's metallics in there. Yeah, and there could be because sometimes that helps. A little interference gold will help in blonde hair. Yeah, because you see so many people just take blonde hair and make it yellow. Right, and it's not. Or yeah. tan, tannish yellow. And it's just, this is, that's, man, that's beautiful. Right. Batman! <laughs> I love the dynamite. I think Batman's bombs. about to get blowed up there. <laughs> um, man, he's seen better days. That's, I like the blue highlights. I like the the bloody mess that he is. That's pretty cool. Everyone usually paints him pretty, you know, unbeaten up. It's nice to see he's had a rough day. He he has a rough day. Oh, cool. A death dealer. Ooh, a death. This is the plastic one, right? I think so. I would say yes. Yeah. I really like the metallics on this. Yep. Um. 
Yeah, especially where it goes around the horse's neck yeah. with the yeah, that gold, the gold necklace gold thing. The color. Yeah, this and and that. the saddle, whatever, like that blanket or I don't know if it's blanket or metal that's sitting on the horse. That's really nice. Okay, Bo Katan. This is another. I think this is a wicked or or berserk piece, or that Star Wars. No, it's probably that Star Wars one that does it. That's really nice paint. Yeah, that is a really nice paint job, especially the weathering on that helmet. I think is really really nice. And the colors are, are close like that, that again that leather that Star Wars brown. I was we just should, gonna say the leather, the brown. Dude, we leather. didn't make a color named Star Wars leather, like because that's there's that like fancy seventies leather. And the blue, the gauntlet on her arms, I love that. Mm-hmm. Blue. That's really really cool. And her skin, the skin's great. And the weathering, again, yeah, the weathering and and then all the armor. Really nice piece. All right, another phantom with the creep mask. <laughs> oh man, this was the early um, yeah, Typhon. Oh, okay. Typhon, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I want to say we gave one of these away. Did we yeah, give one we of these did. away? Yeah, we did. I love the eyes. The eyes are nice. They're nice and the mouth and the teeth. The mouth is yeah. great. The teeth are really nice. Flesh is great. Has that kind of just kind of gross, sickly look to it. Oh, all right. That's some great flesh work. Yeah, and then some great black. Yeah. Yep. I like the very subtle red, just like right. I don't know if everyone mm. can see it on their TV, but where the mask and then there's some red in the cheeks right there. Really nice. And the eyes are perfect. This is, that's really, really nice. And a little nice. bit of the shadow, five o'clock shadow. Yeah. Ah. All right, is there? Is this? I think this might be the last one. Is it? Yes, I believe it is. Oh boy! All right. Okay. Well, everybody, we uh are gonna take a pause. We are gonna deliberate and come back with the winners. All right, we're back, everybody, and you can tell it's a different day, <laughs> and we are wearing different clothes. I, I'm not. Uh, yeah, Scott slept in his. Uh, we we uh. No, this one's long sleeves. The other one was short sleeves. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. That's but nice... I wore it on purpose, so it would look like I was wearing this. Yeah, it, it's a nice blouse. I like but that. But, like, I got my album here that I got. Oh. You know, that wasn't probably on yesterday's show. You know. Okay. So, we, uh, we, we, we stopped, like we said, and we went to go deliberate. And... Yeah, I felt like I was on a grand jury. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and deliberating took a lot longer, I think, than we anticipated. Uh, so I think, what was it, 1230 at night? I don't know. My morning? wife said, why'd you come to bed so late? I go, I was recording. <laughs> I was online with him until almost one. Yeah, it was almost one in the morning. And I figured, let's sleep on it, make sure we're happy with our choices, and then we'll, we'll continue the next day and knock this bottom part out. Uh, knock, Not knock the bottom out, but knock the bottom part of the show out. No, I knocked the bottom out of your mom. Uh, oh, I knew that was coming. I set you up. Did you see that? Yeah. It was a softball. So, yeah, um, batting practice, <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> um, we have our winners and we have our highly commended uh entries. Now, I I want to preface this with, and I think Scott and I will both agree. Are you still playing that video game? <laughs> oh, fucking with this. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kill him, everyone. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be paying attention? Yes, I thought I did my part. I oh, thought I did okay. my part. Okay. Ah, uh, a- a- Avram, I, he drives me crazy. All right, so we we did not look at this, and I, I want to kind of preface our winners. This was not a just straight painting contest, I think, for us. Because if it was a straight painting contest, I think we would have had some different choices and winners and things. So we kind of, you want to explain kind of what our criteria in our brain was a little bit? The wow factor, the, it was more than that. We were looking for, something cool like something, something that stood out stood out. stood out a lot of okay. work a lot of like oh that's a great that's a pretty cool idea that's a cool concept there and again there were some amazingly painted things in this thing like some really good paint job and i am not knocking those in one bit <laughs> but we are you know we wanted more than just a great paint job like we wanted a cool concept in your idea 
we are looking for the whole package kind of thing. Scott, anything you want to add to that? Um, the only thing I'll add to it is, so we have a first, second, and third prize winner, and three um, what we called commendable winners. No, no that is not what Avram called them. <laughs> Oh, you call High, them. Highly commended. No, this is an official term for the contest. I'm glad you're okay. paying attention. Uh, highly commended. So, uh, sorry. Where's my phone? I'll play my game. Anyway, yeah, highly commended. So so there were six total what we're going to call prize winners. Okay? And just looking at this list, three of them were straight built, and three of them were customized kits you know or you know more than just um straight out of the box okay so you know that kind of goes to show that the you know yeah the customiz customizations kind of wow you and when we were going through this when we were going through them what's going to seem like a few minutes ago <laughs> um it's almost 24 hours notes. ago <laughs> I made notes. I don't know if Jason did. I made notes. And when we um when we came to conclusions, I have to say that um we pretty much agreed. That, on yes. The on top our winners. Three. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. And But the fights took place in the highly commended. <laughs> That's where Okay. For Tundi calling me. Um but yeah, so and and then really the highly commended. I think we overall agreed on. Two. I wouldn't say that. I think we, there was well, there was some deliberation. Yes. <laughs> and so what we went through is we went through. We each had a list, and we'll probably talk about our lists, okay? And so everyone can hate Jason that they didn't get picked because <laughs> I had you on my list. Um, but on my highly commended list i started out with three four five six seven eight nine i had about ten yeah i think we both had about that, that. that i thought were. Yeah. and so one of the things we did is we went down that list and said which ones do we both have okay yeah and so we kind of started there and um we were able to we were able to get the one done pretty quick um <laughs> and the other one pretty quick the last one we fought yeah it was uh we, we we went back and forth quite a bit on and um so again i don't want to say I, I hate to even use the term winners but i guess it's a contest so you won the contest <laughs> but there were just as many entries that didn't win a prize that could have won a prize Okay, I mean, it was close on a lot of them. Yes, so, very uh, much so. So you want to get in? Let's do, let's announce our highly commended. All right, let's, let's announce our highly commended. So okay. our first highly commended entry is done. We need a drum roll for this. Do I have one? No. I have cheers. I'll hit the cheer button. How about that? I haven't hit the cheer button in a while. Let's see if that works. Our first highly commended entry is the ghoul. From Cam Boggs. Where's my... Uh, the cheer button works. So congratulations. Now we have like... We went back and we grabbed um, some pictures from... That were in the thread. So we have this mm -hmm. extra picture. And this is what I think for me was... Those shoes look like real shoes. And that whole... Yeah, they looks, do. No, they, I, like, I'll give you that. You yeah, know? they do. Um... There's some great and weathering the, in here. And the stripes on the pants, they're, yeah. they're subtle. And again, I've never seen the movie, so I, I mean, I'm sure they're accurate. But, man, that's a lot of work to do that. Freehanding um, pinstripes is not fun. And, again, I, I think you're very, like, like you said, they're subtle pinstripes. They kind of look like they're part of that fabric. And I, I, I think it's a highly commended entry. Mm -hmm. It is very, very good. So we are going to award the ghoul. The Mummy Shroud from Escape Hatch Hobbies. So that will be your prize, Mr. Box. Congratulations on being one of our highly commended entries. All right. 
Highly commended number two. And again, I don't think there's an order to these. They're just. Yeah, there is no order to the. Yeah. Yes. So. All right. So here we go. And we have Lisa Rothschild Riley with her shaggy. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. So, and then the, her name, Lisa, I apologize. <laughs> I could not get a text color to work well on top of the picture. Um, I think, Scott, why don't you tell everybody why we chose this one? First of all, when this one popped up, and I'm sure maybe you guys could see it when we were doing it. Again, this wowed me. It was like, wow, look at this. This is something I've never seen before. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, I know this isn't a kit. I know this isn't, you know, I don't know if she hand sculpted all those fate. You know, I, I would love to know where she got all the heads from all the Scooby Doo villains. Um, and it, it, it's but, one of those things where concept won us over. I think. Yes. You know, it's yes. such a cool idea. So congratulations, Lisa. This is fantastic. You are going home with our entry or our prize <laughs> from Model Club TV, uh, a choice of anything you would like printed. And I'm going to give you some options. And so contact me through email. I have a bunch of patrons we can go through. Scott has some and we can get that to you and get some a, a print of your choice uh, to you. So anything. I'll give you a list out of all. Like I got hundreds of things from my patrons. So we'll give you that free print. Uh, and we'll go from there, but congratulations. Like I said, our next highly commended entry is the box from Kevin Foreman. Is it called the box? I don't even remember the name of the kit. I don't know what he called it. <laughs> the Jack in the know. box. This is just one of those classic kits, but for me, it's perfect. It's just, it has such a nice, subtle color scheme to it. And it has like color callbacks between the face down to the box. And if I skip over to this other one, a other, couple other pictures we found in the thread, it, that box looks highly customized. Like that wood. We don't know if that's wood that's been stuck in there or if it's mm. painted to look like wood. It almost looks like there's fabric stuck on the box. And yeah. The, I mean, that, it, it's, I don't know if that's painted. I don't know if the, I'd have to pull mine out to look at it. Um, <clears throat> and it's one of but, those classic kits that I just like, I love, and I love seeing it done well. And I think this is one of the best versions of this. I think I've seen. And, I, and I'll be honest, you know, we, we, we went back and forth on this. This, this was the last one we picked. Our la there are some people right now that are probably like, you sons of bitch. <laughs> and, but man, I really like this. And yeah, I'm just simply going to say uh, to me, the paint job is flawless. Okay. And when I saw the close-up pictures of the box, that nailed it for me. When the, if there is indeed a thin layer of wood in there, which it kind of looks like there is, if there is indeed some cloth glued on there, or if it was molded that way, but you painted it that way, Kevin, right. it, it was, uh, this is really well done. I'll send you mine. You can do mine if you want to do another. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be fantastic, huh? Okay. So now... Wait, did I hit the cheer button? I think I forgot to hit the cheer button for him. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. And so, Kevin, you are going home with the Lost Love Kit from Nostalgic Resin Production. So, congratulations. I think you'll do an excellent job on that, actually. Yeah. And that's he got a Lost Love Kit, and all I got was a Super Soaker. <laughs> Which is not your first. Thanks, Dave. Yes. All right. You ready? You ready for the winners? Here we Are go. you ready? You're going to mumble through I think this I, I'm not going to mumble through it. Here we go. I'm nervous. I feel I'm nervous. I'm feeling this. All what right. are you nervous about? I'm going to give them your address, know. your phone number, <laughs> and they can come after you. All right. Third prize. Third prize goes to Kenneth Hunt and his fish diorama shadow box. Scott, why, why did we pick this as our third place winner? I knew, and this was one of the early pieces that we um, saw. And I knew as soon as I saw this that this was going to be up in my choices. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a lot going on here. 
Okay. And Jason and I looked at this and we talked about it a little bit last night. And if there was one thing we didn't like about it, it was, it seemed like the fish and, and the other wildlife in there wasn't really painted compared to the creature coming out of the cave and stuff. However, it's not how this kid is meant to be looked at. Correct. And I just so flipped when, the picture. Yep. When you look at the other picture and now you look at it in that shadow box light. Yeah. It, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. So it, it's, this is, um, so it's one of those things where you had to kind of paint it yeah. for this to get this kind of effect, I think. And I, right. I, it's, it's one of those things that falls right into my wheelhouse. And as you know, as the judge, that's kind of why we were picked things that inspire us are things that we kind of like. And this is the kind of model kit. There's modeling here. There's things going on. There's lots of details like rocks, plants, right. lights. You had to light up the whole kit like to get that to light up. I'm sure as a nightmare and it's really cool. And I think it's really well done. Kenneth Hunt. I, I love this. And, and frankly, it's fine without the shadow. Oh box. yeah, for sure. Don't be wrong. For it, sure. It's, I mean, the creature coming out of the cave, whatever it is. And yeah, I'd love to know. I think I know what that kid is, but I'd love to know exactly what that was. Um, mm -hmm. But it just comes alive. And I'll, I'll just keep flipping back. It really comes alive. It reminds me of like a viewfinder, like a viewmaster viewfinder. Oh, it does look like a viewmaster. You know, like one of those things where it's just. Except you wouldn't have the Captain America shield in the background. <laughs> um, yeah. look at, we, I love seeing the reflections. We were doing that in a couple ones when people's pictures. But it's hard to take pictures of this stuff when you got that dark inside like that. And it's well and done. The, um, what will Kenneth Hunt be uh, winning? Kenneth Hunt will be winning the Big Trouble bust from Russell Roby. At Banshee. From Banshee Studios, yes. So there we go. That's what you'll be winning. Congratulations, Kenneth Hunt. Hit the cheer button again in case that's your All right. Second prize. Second prize. Second prize is going to get the cheer button ready. Steve Schultz Dracula. Steve Schultz Dracula. All right. Congratulations, Steve. You want to walk us through this winner, Scott? So this is the uh, Aurora Box Art Tribute Kit, sculpted by Jeff Yeager. Um, this is the last of the, what I call, out-of-the-box builds, although he did make the background um, in the window. Mm -hmm. And you can see but it in I this mean, picture I'm showing now. Okay, but photo. yes, but, but the rest of this is an out-of-the-box build. And I, again, this is another one that just wowed me. It looks so two-dimensional on the three-dimensional figure, like the box art. This is, to me, what the box art kits are should all be painted. And I know Mark Worthling had a few of his painted like the boxes, and they looked really cool. And this is, man, this is beautiful. This is just... Uh, yeah, it's a great piece that I'm sure he loves having on his shelf. It, it almost looks like the box. If you took the nameplate off of it and put the box there, yeah, you'd almost have to do a double take. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, you got the colors right, and it's... This is a phenomenal piece. I, it's... I, I don't even know what else to say about it. it it's beautiful. I, right. I wish there were how-to articles on some of these. Yeah. Because they're... Uh, yeah, it's really nice. So I, I agree with everything Scott just said. So I, I'm not trying to cheap it out, but I agree with everything you said. So your prize, Steve, is dun, 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 the Vincent Price from Sci-Fi Models and Stuff. That's a Another pretty Jaeger good, sculpt. Another Jaeger sculpt that I think he'll do an excellent job on, considering. And I'd love to see that thing painted similar with the light. Do some OSL effects on that Vincent Price with that light. I, you better do it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. That's just a And our grand prize winner, first prize. First prize. You ready, Scott? Dun, 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 when do we go dun, get dun, our Kevlar? <laughs> like, what? Oh, man. All right. First prize goes to. He wins Trixie. No, he doesn't. You get a free dog in the mail. <laughs> First prize goes to Brian Wilkinson and his board. 
Walk us through this winter, Scott. While I push, I have a, a one other picture to the show. So this was one of the uh, later ones that that popped in. Okay, and I knew the second this popped in that this was my choice. Okay, I mean there was never a. I I mean it's. You know, I mean, I will say the difference between first and second and third is, is negligible. Okay. But when I saw this one, again, this has the wow factor of he made this. Okay. He, and we talked about it when he, when we showed it, the light and the vent at the bottom, the, uh, um, the screen, you know, the Borg lit from inside. The the whole base was scratch built. I don't know where the board came from and how much of that is modified. Right. I would like to know. But um I I just knew kind of right off the bat this this was my pick. And I told you as soon as we stopped, I said <laughs> I the Borg. Yeah. Okay. And uh And I even this picture I have up here, it could be right out of the TV show. Like just it's so the, the way the lighting works on it is just inspiring to see someone take that kind of effort and throw that uh, extra modeling into the model contest. And it, I think it's pretty cool. So Brian, you are going home with the $150 gift card, gift certificate to Blackheart models from George Stevenson. So congratulations to you again for being our grand prize winner there. Now. Thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you to uh, every single sponsor. Yeah. Every single sponsor. Um, George. Russell, um, Dan, I don't, uh, I don't want to miss any Horvath. Yeah, geez, we don't want to miss him. <laughs> um, you, oh of course, God. we have Nostalgic uh, Resin Productions. Printing. We have, and uh, oh, and Michael Berglund and Todd and Todd oh, Escape Hatch Hobbies. Escape Hatch Hobbies. So, thanks to everybody yeah. that helped out with that. Thanks to everybody that entered. Now, okay. we are going to give away one other print job. All right. We're going to give away one other print job. I'm going to go build a wheel that has everyone but the winner's names on it. And we're going to give away another print opportunity from us uh, or someone else from the contest. So kind of a consolation prize. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. So I went ahead and took out the winners, and I have a wheel with everyone else. Uh, and that feels weird saying winners, but yes. So this is everyone else. I'm going to spin the wheel. Tell me when to stop shuffling, Scott. The winner of this will get a, uh, a second print from me, and I'll give you some choices. We can work together and figure it out. So uh, here we go. Tell me when to stop shuffling. Now. Spinning, 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 spinning. Oh, Ian Tate or Ian Tate? One of the two. Ian Tate, Ian. let me know. Ian. What? Ian. Could be Ian. 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 Don't they over there in England? Don't they say Ian? Ian? Don't they say Ian? It is Ian. That's how they say it here too, you <laughs> idiot. Sorry, Mr. Tate. <laughs> now, Ian Tate, congratulations. Send me an email over at modelclubtv at gmail.com, and we will uh, work together and get you a print. Same with uh, modelclubtv at gmail.com, and we'll get you that print. We'll figure out something. Tell me what you like. I'll give you some suggestions. And Lisa, same thing. And congratulations to everybody. Again, like we said in the beginning, it is nerve-wracking to enter a contest and i i really appreciate that everyone did it and i appreciate well, that FP... to judge a contest because I know, I know who am i to judge i know fp rnv well let's let's go over that scott you've been around a long time you've seen a lot of really cool painted things that's why you have the right to judge i think all right so we're just gonna real quick some of our ones that we we loved personally but they weren't on each other's lists when we came down to like the spirit of the mm -hmm. contest and what we thought should be our winners in terms right. of like modeling. These are strict. Some of mine are just strictly great paint jobs. The, the body snatcher. I love, I absolutely love 
parts of that kit that are just, I mean, perfection. Uh, the Johnny Ringo, I think, is beautiful. Is that was that one of yours as well? I, I had as... Body Snatcher and Johnny Ringo. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, I and think... Jeff Camp has always did a great job. Um, I think it was Derek did the Body Snatcher. Yes, Derek. And Common. Um, the, the Body Snatcher, you know, again was. I think you can right see these there. as are highly commended, like just. Yeah. Um, the, the Warhammer, the orcs, I am an orcs. Like that is my army in Warhammer. I love orcs. And to see that orc submarine boat with all the water coming everywhere. I just, there are some things in there that I just, we couldn't agree on. I think going back and forth when, mm -hmm. but it was very close. It's very close. It, a lot like, of these we're mentioning were very close <laughs> because it, it's. They all had elements that were really yeah, good. If it wasn't just the straight up paint job, they all had elements that were really good. And the waterwork on this piece was fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Another one of my highly commended ones that I, the Bruce the Shark, I thought was painted very well from Stan Art. Uh, I, think the, I think one of my favorite pieces in terms of a paint job was the Reptile. Like, I just, it looks so painterly and just, it's ex like there's parts in there that are just exquisite. Like, I love that yellow on that blue. I, the flesh on the Wrightston thing still gets me every time. Um, and I think that's where I'm at with some of my extra ones. The Witch from Kendall Conniff, which we've seen before, I think it's fantastic as well. Um, Scott, how about you? So, um, we had a lot of the same ones. Um, the Johnny Ringo, like I said, the Body Snatcher, the Warhammer sub, the Orc sub, um, all fantastic. Uh, Vince Simonelli's Bride. We both I, had that I, on I our list. Really yep. We had, both had that on our list. I, you know, I've known Vince now for a couple, three years maybe now, three, four years. And he's a model club watcher and he's come to our picnic. He lives, you know, within an hour of us and he's just such a low-key guy we never knew he was such a good painter <laughs> and then i found out when he did my con kit and now we saw this so um vince uh yeah i th that was fantastic i like that um the crow i like the crow and we talked about the crow when we did it the black shading on the crow. It was in there. It was in there. It, right it, it was just end. overall painted very well. Um, so I, I did like that crow. Um, the thing had, um, I thought that was almost painted perfect. Yeah. And it, it, you know, I, I thought that was really well done as you know, and, uh, the last, I will also say is the Valadriel. Galadriel. Saying it right? So he doesn't know uh, his lawyer at Galadriel. I, I don't, whatever. But uh <laughs> Gil uh Mondragon painted yes. that. And the blonde hair we in both that was yeah. enough. He could have painted the rest of that thing green, <laughs> and the blonde hair would have been enough for it to get onto my list for sure. Because and it, it's and I think I went to his website. I think he's got a video on he this. does. He does. And if he does, maybe we'll post a link to it there. Because I'm still going to say it. it's the best blonde hair I've ever seen painted, period. Yeah, okay. it's good. No discussion, no anything. That was off the charts to me, okay? And that, and that was really close for me, too, because that, because of the hair, had a big wow factor for me. Yeah, that and, was. And, um, you know. So cool. That, that's, that's our judging of the contest. I hope everyone's okay with our, our winners and our, our commended entries. Thank you again, everybody. I want to say thank you to FPR and V for even considering us for this. I hope we didn't screw it up too badly and you're happy with the result. Um, I will one suggestion going forward for the next contest. And, and maybe you, if you agree with me, Scott, I'd like to know. I think never. it would, you probably won't because you never do. Um, it should be something new painted for that contest specifically. Not something you painted like a while ago and you kind of stick it in there. Give people a little, you know, enough time frame to say, hey, the deadline's going to be here. Here's the theme or here's the idea. And then everyone has to paint it within those three months or build it within those three months. Because I think that gives people a chance to have never seen it before. 
and because we see a lot come through and you see a lot online and i think it just helps like wow people when you see it I, you know though i will say a lot of these a few of these i had seen prior um but um and don't and i don't want anyone to take that as a knock that is not why we did not no, pick anyone no. or anything so. uh joe's batman the the last one in the slideshow um i had seen it prior and it, it's 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 that flesh it's, is awesome <laughs> that yeah, flesh it, is it, fantastic yes. joe is joe is fantastic uh Brent crew who, who knew somebody that drinks high karate can <laughs> paint so good okay um you know so th- there's that um so yeah, some of these I've seen, but the majority of these I have to say I probably have, and I did see we have seen. I did see Jeff's Ringo. I did see Kendall's Witch. Um, I hadn't seen Cam's Kit, and I hadn't seen. Um, and that also know. goes to show you how Facebook works. I've yeah. seen things that you haven't. You've seen things that I haven't, and you know. And yeah. if someone, I see a lot more because Scott doesn't watch the show. So he never sees the gallery at the end of the show. So if someone had sent something you don't in, put it in the slideshow, I had seen it see. before. Yeah. So, and again, I I'd seen uh, our winner's kit before. So it's not, that is not something that uh, knocked no, anyone, I, but I just I like I, the creativity on, yeah. on some of this stuff. Um, like the Cyclops with the armature, I thought yeah. was a, was a cool creative idea. Uh, I just think it, it kind of helps it. This, this, the, the, the customized. It, Aurora Frankenstein and Wolfman, you know, stuff like yeah. that. It's, it just, it's, it reminds me of like when you went to Wonderfest back in the day and you didn't have the internet and you walked in the door and you were surprised by all the entries and you were surprised by what was on everybody's table. That's what, mm-hmm. that's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like, I want new, like to be like, oh, cool. I've never seen that before. There, there's different levels of painters and, and there's different levels of painters in this contest. And, I, I will say to everybody, man, you enjoy this hobby more than I do because I, do, <laughs> I, you know, it, it's so keep going. Yes. Okay. Keep, keep painting, keep striving to be better. Okay. And even, you know, it, it's, um, it, it's amazing. You know, I, coming from the old Aurora, all I wanted was to see a clean paint job to what, the garage kid hobby has introduced to me is amazing and the work some of these guys i i don't know where they get their ideas when the when the stuff comes in their head and just like the model club contest when it was there you know how did these guys get these ideas real Haas with his takes that visible man and does yeah. that crazy thing with it um and that's kind of where i was like in my head that's robert like, rock you know oh, robert yeah like concept yeah. like go, go big make something really cool and new and original that's that's what i want to see so i again fpr and v thank you very much i i i am honored that you chose us to do this and i hope we did you justice and we'll see everybody next and, time and anyone that wants jason's home address <laughs> um, well hey you know what you could do you could come to the live stream on december 30th 7 p.m central 8 p.m eastern uh right here on youtube you can complain to us live on the show <laughs> well and you know what yeah. I, i'm not even complaints but in the comments i would like to know maybe what the viewers thought yeah on a first second third highly commended you know i would like to know what they give thought, us maybe. yours yes give us your winners it's um you see know, if we did maybe. the same Maybe we're out of whack and we don't deserve to uh, <laughs> ever do anything. But I, yeah, I just think. That oh, we're out be- of whack. That's for sure. So, all right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Live stream, December 30th. Keep looking. I- the thumbnail will be there. So it'll be there. So say goodbye, Scott. Goodbye, Scott.
All right. <laughs> yeah, Scotty G, J, Joe, 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 J, Joe, 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 Hanson. All right. The top Wait, in the middle of a game here. Hold on. I was going to say that. Yeah, you. F- <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm playing my black game. You want to close your door or leave it open? What do you want to do? I guess I can close it. Trixie's not here. Trixie had a rough day. Oh, no. She went to the vet. She got shot. But she got a good, clean bill of health. She's very healthy. She gave the vet, like, lots of kisses, and he gave her lots of uh, treats. Great. Great to hear. If I could get treats, I'd give you kisses. All right. 